chapter 3921 double kill from the withered palm a razor sharp black sword materialized and shot forth with incredible speed that sword was a condensation of all the life force of this corpse this attack had sucked away practically all of this corpse's energy making it chi yang's greatest attack yet an insignificant technique long chen sneered disdainfully after that a dragon mark lit up on his palm and sacred light flowed out like a wave from it the sharp sword made a strange sound when it struck long chen's palm and it suddenly veered toward yin chang shen but yin chang shen had never expected xi yang's attack to not be a true physical attack and could actually be reflected with no opportunity to evade the black sword mercilessly impaled his chest to his horror the black sword didn't merely puncture his physical form but also tore through his manifestation leaving a gaping hole from within him a sinister aura of decay and death akin to a curse surged forth as black kai yin chang sheng's anguished scream then pierced the air echoing with the weight of his suffering his body was rapidly rotting and his manifestation was crumbling that ear-piercing scream persisted for a mere breath before coming to an end now his flesh and blood were gone leaving only bare bones that were marred with black spots and continued to rot what a terrifying curse fortunately my sacred energy counters it looking at yin chen sheng's condition long chen gasped he possessed the ancestral dragon's sacred energy and that was why he wasn't afraid of this kind of dark curse just now long chen had simply deflected it to yin cheng sheng thinking that it would cause some trouble for him but unexpectedly the curse had such a terrifying effect suddenly yin cheng sheng's yuan spirit burst out of his skeleton but even then black spots kept appearing on his yuan spirit not even his yuan spirit could escape this curse the spots rapidly spread and multiplied even after igniting his core flame yin ching sheng was still unable to drive them away he screamed in agony you bastard Shi yang undo this curse Ooh. unfortunately Shi yang didn't even get a chance to reply before being blasted apart by long chen's punch the black sword was supposed to be the deciding blow so Shi yang had staked everything on it as a result his body was in an incredibly weak state after unleashing it leaving him so weak that one punch from long chen blew his body apart chi yang's yuan spirit then came out as he tried to flee as long as his yuan spirit was not destroyed he could find a new corpse to be reborn in and rise again however his yuan spirit had just appeared when the long waiting malevolent spirits inhaled lai kai and song minjun had long since known that once these people died their yuan spirits would be nutrients for them hence they had been waiting at the side xi yang's yuan spirit was devoured but when it came to yin chang sheng's cursed yuan spirit those two malevolent spirits were also afraid of him they didn't dare to devour him as that curse was truly terrifying long chen I won't let you off even as a ghost. Boom. Yin Cheng Sheng was unable to endure the pain. With no hope of being saved, he self-detonated. Idiot. The one to kill you was Shi Yang. What does it have to do with me? Fortunately, my guts aren't small. Who are you trying to scare? Snorted Long Chen. No one had expected Yin Cheng Sheng to be slain by Shi Yang, and for Shi Yang to stake everything on one failed gambit had cost him his life as well now all that remained on long chen's battlefield were three people long aoshin kun tu and the nine underworld liuacha with the deaths of those two the world seemed much more tranquil long aoshin kun tu and the nine underworld liuacha stood around long chen not immediately attacking him they just looked at him coldly if the three of you run in different directions i admit that with my current power i can probably only kill one of you 
why don't you run and see who i prioritize first asked long chen lightly clasping his hands behind him yua ran and the others were recovering as they watched seeing him dispatch two peak experts so easily they cheered any guesses on who boss will kill if they run asked gua ran what's the point none of the three will escape mon nyan shook his head really that nine underworld liuacha she is clearly starting to gasp for breath amongst the three of them she is the weakest i feel like she'll be the first to run said bai Ziol. bai Ziol had recovered a bit of his spiritual strength thanks to menkai's aid although he was still looking pale he was all right menkai was now holding bai shishi's hand bai shishi had unleashed all her power and her spiritual strength was slightly overdrafted however with her stubborn nature she refused to let others see that when meng kai first grabbed her hand she trembled a bit but seeing meng kai's warm smile bai shishi reddened slightly and accepted meng kai's aid as meng kai helped bai shishi recover the pill fairy also gave her a medicinal pill bai shishi then thanked her and consumed the pill she felt immersed in sunlight when she consumed this pill and her recovery speed soared sorry bai shishi looked at the pill fairy and blushed the pill fairy was startled she then looked at bai shishi blankly not knowing why she was apologizing to her on the other hand meng kai smiled we are originally one complete apple after splitting apart with others we'll feel bad about missing a piece but when others give us a portion as well you will find that the apple is no longer the original apple but its flavor is even sweeter the path of cultivation is filled with dangers even peak experts can't guarantee that they won't fall so all we can do is walk together and treasure our time together wouldn't it be good for sisters to walk this path hand in hand menkai looked at bai shishi her beautiful eyes filled with sincerity being stared at like this bai shishi grew even redder menkai was just like a wise and kind big sister and nothing could escape her observation moreover being seen through by her didn't make people feel panicked it actually made them feel steadier bai shishi didn't dare to look straight into menkai's eyes and simply nodded even then this nod already made things clear it was equivalent to abandoning the turmoil in her heart and putting down her prideful face the current by shishi knew why someone as outstanding as her mother would be willing to share a husband with someone else love was sometimes so unreasonable no matter how stubborn you were you could not resist it you could only accept your fate sister tell me does that fellow have others as well whispered menkai others bai shishi was startled menkai smiled that response already told her the answer she then looked at that domineering figure in the distance feeling relieved at least he knew to hold back or their family would truly be chaotic meanwhile gua ran and the others were betting mo nyan said that not one of the three would escape while gua ran and the others were of the opinion that the nine underworld liuacha was running out of power and would definitely run just as they were arguing intensely neither side willing to submit to the other kunt too actually shouted at the nine underworld liuacha scram stop wasting our time here i'm about to go all out so don't get slaughtered by me accidentally kuntu slowly reached out and pressed his forehead after that he actually tore off the golden rune on his forehead well at this moment kuntu's blood kai surged out violently unleashing wild astral winds that ravaged the world this sudden change made guo ran and the others expressions contort with a mix of astonishment and concern chapter three thousand nine hundred twenty two each harboring their own thoughts it's a seal he actually sealed his own power guo ran couldn't believe his eyes that heaven-shaking battle was fought while under a seal 
In other words, Kun Tu had yet to reveal his true power. I knew it. Kun Tu and Long Ayashin aren't even breathing hard. Neither of them has brought out their true trump cards. Yet you still refused to believe me. Only Mon Nayan revealed no sign of shock as if everything was within his expectations. We weren't talking about Kun Tu and Long Ayashin. We were saying that the Nine Underworld Yuacha was the weakest of the three of them, and that she would either run or die first, Kyuo Ran stubbornly clung to his analysis. TCH, I'm not criticizing you, but you are clearly lacking in terms of observation. However, don't worry, Big Bro will help you. Have you not noticed? Whether it was when that giant was slain, or when Shi Yang and Yin Chang Sheng were killed, none of the three twitched in the slightest. Eh? Where's Wang Taniao? Mo Nian suddenly realized that he couldn't find Wang Tianyao. Everyone was startled. Wang Tianyao was supposed to be fighting Lei Linger right. Where did they go? Looking around, they saw a lightning tower in the distance. Right now, Lei Linger was sitting on top of it, forming hand seals, seemingly absorbing power from within the tower. When they looked closely, they saw Wang Taniao struggling within it. He had actually been drawn into the tower, and his core runes were being stripped off of him one by one by Lei Linger. Lei Linger had actually set her sights on Wang Taniao's core runes. If she could merge with those runes, she would have the human race's aura. As the human race was the most spiritual of the ten thousand races, she would grow even more intelligent after absorbing these runes. Seeing this, people could no longer feel such intense hatred for him. There was even a touch of sympathy on their faces now. Just think about it. Both of his divine weapons had been taken by Lei Linger, and even his core runes were being extracted by her at this moment. If the runes were taken, he would no longer be a supreme heavenly genius. Now, trapped in his own lightning tower, he had to fight for his life in despair. Most likely, even he himself knew what kind of fate awaited him. Oh, what was I saying just now? Mo Nian suddenly clapped his forehead, having forgotten the original conversation after this distraction. Something about us not noticing something, and that those three didn't react even after the others were slain. Reminded by Sayol, he had been listening very intently. That's right. Do you not see? Kan Tu and Long Aoshin's gazes are still apathetic. It is normal for powerful fellows to feel that way. But why is it that the Nine Underworld Yuacha can act the same way even though she is clearly weaker than them? Isn't that curious? said Mo Nain. Curious. If her power is weaker, why doesn't she run? What is she waiting for? asked Bai Zayol. Just because you look weak doesn't mean that you are actually weak. For example, you look weak, but to tell the truth. Well, you are indeed weak, said Mo Nain. Of course, even if you are weak, if you summon the violet I nine tail demon fox, you will still be a supremely terrifying fellow. If it wasn't being held back by you, it would have swept through this battlefield before Long Chen even came out. Only a handful of people here could beat it. After all, even in its weakened state, all on its own, it managed to protect us from Long Chen's roar. We all saw how much power it endured. Tell me, are you weak or strong? asked Mo Nain. Then are you saying that she will also? exclaimed Bai Zio. Mo Nian shook his head. All I can say for sure is that she still has some trump cards up her sleeve. I can't say for sure what they are, but it seems that all three of them have the same thought. Once they are the last man standing, they'll unleash their greatest trump card to kill Long Chen. After all, they're very prideful. Even now, they are not afraid of Long Chen and want to beat him solo. This deduction shook people's hearts. Mo Nian was quite meticulous, and his analysis was very reasonable. Guo Ran and the others had been thinking too simply. 
if it really was as Monayan said, then the three of them were truly terrifying. Having just broken his seal, Kun too emanated an ever-surging aura along with earth-shaking blood Kai. As a result, even from such a distance, everyone could feel an immense aura pressuring them. It was unimaginable how a person's blood Kai could become so powerful that it suppressed the very heavenly Tao's. Everyone, don't look down on our enemies. Focus on your recovery. These three fellows are very terrifying, so let's not let any accidents occur due to our negligence, said Yu Zifeng solemnly. Everyone nodded. Previously, they had used up all their energy to block the attacks of millions and millions of experts, so they were no longer able to help Long Chen. However, even if they couldn't help, they shouldn't be hindrances. If something happened and someone were to suddenly attack them while Long Chen was facing those three, it would be troublesome. Meng Kai then summoned a spiritual domain to help them rapidly recover. Regretfully, they had no wood element warriors here, or there would be no need for Meng Kai to do this. At the same time, they couldn't help finding it curious. There were only 2,700 dragon blood warriors here. Where were the rest? They were also anticipating many other familiar faces, for example, Chu Yao, Li Ryan, Tang Wen Er, Yi Zhikyu, Zai Yan, Wild Da, and so on. If they had come to the Three Thousand Worlds, they definitely would have come here. Hence, the Dragon Blood warriors were filled with questions, but now wasn't the time to deliberate on such things. They just focused on recovering as quickly as they could. Fuck, if I was in my peak condition, that cunt too would definitely be mine to kill. I'd then show the world the marvelous image of me shooting a kunpeng down. Mo Nian felt super displeased when he saw Kun Tu's power soaring. He was also a peak expert. However, because of Long Chen, he had no chance to show off today. All of you can stop wasting time. Just bring out your full power. If I didn't have an agreement with a senior not to use any magical arts, I wouldn't have let you live this long. I'm supposed to beat you with only the physical body and the divine abilities of the dragon race. Furthermore, I have to beat you in your strongest state. I've been giving you plenty of time to store up energy. If you still don't make your move, don't blame me for not giving you that chance. In front of Kuntu seal release, Long Chen's expression was still calm as if everything was within his expectations. Seeing Long Chen's active arrogance, the three of them were instantly enraged. Long Chen, you're too arrogant. Today, I'll show you the true trump card of the Asura race. Even if I have to die, I'll drag you down with me. After saying this, the nine underworld Luach's face suddenly twisted. Her skin then split open, and fresh blood poured out of her body. Great Asura God, hear your descendants call. Hell of ceaseless pain. Help me slay the blasphemer of the Asura God. Following her summons, the space behind her exploded, and a mouth full of teeth devoured her. A strange life form that was wrapped in chains and wielding a sickle emerged. With the blue flames burning around it, it exuded a dark and sinister aura, causing the entire world's aura to change. When the people around looked at it, their souls felt cold, as if they had been dropped into hell. Chapter 3923 The Soul Hooking Terror Devil from the Hell of Ceaseless Pain This life form's outer form was translucent, revealing the details of its skeletal structure. Within its chest cavity, everyone could see the Nine Underworld, the Yuacha. At this moment, she was covered in blue flames, her life force being consumed by this life form. How vicious! She actually sacrificed herself. Mo Nian and the others felt chills when they saw this. Although Mo Nian had predicted that the Nine Underworld Liuacha had some terrifying trump cards, he hadn't expected her to be so vicious, actually sacrificing herself in order to kill Long Chen. Even if she could kill Long Chen with this trump card, she wouldn't survive either. 
Wang Chen, even if I have to die, I will drag you down with me to protect the sacred dignity of the Asura race, howled the Nine Underworld Luacha inside of this life form. Suddenly, the world quivered and ripples of energy slowly tightened around Long Chen. Those ripples then condensed into a dark red halo above Long Chen's head. After that, the sickle wielding life form opened its eyes, and a terrifying death label wrapped around Long Chen. Long Chen, you've been locked down by the soul hooking terror devil from the hell of ceaseless pain. It will haunt you to the edge of the world. After you die, it will drag your soul into hell. You will never reincarnate and will suffer for all of eternity. The nine underworld Luach's sinister voice was like that of a ghost. Oh, hell, I'm so afraid. Wang Chen put on a terrified expression before disdainfully saying, You act like no one has ever gone to hell. Is it so amazing? Big brother Guang told me to be on guard against this technique of yours telling me not to force you too far. Actually, I didn't force you at all. It was you being too childish, so don't blame me. Shut up. Repent in hell. Realize that the great Asura race isn't something that you can blaspheme, roared the nine underworld Luacha. All of a sudden, she vanished, and all her power, her very life, instantly merged into this life-form's body. After this... There would no longer be a nine underworld Luacha in this world. When she vanished, the soul hooking terror devil suddenly opened its mouth, revealing thousands of needle like teeth. It smiled sinisterly at Long Chen. Its sickle then swung through the air like lightning, bringing with it a gust of wind that sounded like millions of malicious ghosts wailing for souls. Ah! Uh, screams rang out from the dragon blood warriors. Those with weaker spiritual strength felt like millions of maggots were devouring their souls. It was torturous. Even with their willpower, they couldn't help but scream. Heavenly soul barrier. Meng Kai's quickly formed hand seals and summoned a spiritual barrier. However, the sound could not be completely blocked. It still penetrated the barrier, but doing so greatly reduced its effects. To their surprise, they found that blood was pouring out of many people's ears. This hell devil was terrifying. Its sickle is a terrifying soul weapon. Millions of resentful spirits are coiling around it, and the air of resentment is astonishing. Does it really come from the hell of ceaseless pain? wondered Meng Kai. Hell is a place that terrified countless people, said to be the source of all sins. In legend, the most terrible life forms of heaven and earth would be drawn there after dying to suffer eternal torment. However, if those spirits were strong enough, they could slay their overseers, escaping the sea of bitterness and becoming the new overseers. They would then transform their spiritual bodies into physical bodies. Rather than being tortured, they would be the torturers. As for the hell of ceaseless pain, it was the worst hell where tortures were the only constant thing. They never stopped. Those that could distinguish themselves within the hell of ceaseless pain were elevated into terror devils. Terror devils were the chiefs of the hell of ceaseless pain. When they were alive, they were the most terrible life forms. So, after dying, they suffered endless torment, accumulating unimaginable amounts of resentment and killing intent. After becoming chiefs, they were like machines slaughtering those that tortured them, unleashing their resentment. They never got tired of killing and torturing, and they never stopped. However, even after they became terror devils, they weren't safe because there were also competitions and slaughters between terror devils. After all, they relied on killing to cultivate. If a stronger life form were to be born in their domain, they would have to crush this life form immediately to stop it from growing. If it did grow, it would become another terror devil, and its first goal would be to kill the terror devil that had tortured them. Thus, Hell's terror devils were true killing machines. Troublesome. This soul-hooking terror devil is no ordinary terror devil. 
said Mo Nyan with a hint of worry in his voice. What are you talking about? I've been through the passage to hell while robbing tombs, and I encountered one of hell's terror devils there. Using my full power, I barely killed it and took its bone-carving blade. That's one of my most difficult battles. That terror devil was most likely a Skinner terror devil from the skinning hell. It had white flames on it, but this one has blue flames. Its tear is probably even higher than the one that I killed, said Mo Nyan solemnly. Then is boss in danger? It should be fine. Long Chen possesses the sacred light of the ancestral dragon. He can resist the corrosion of hell power. His spiritual strength is also powerful. Careful! Mo Nyan suddenly shouted, causing everyone to jump. Long Chen had repeatedly dodged the soul-hooking terror devil's sickle, but this time he unleashed a golden fist, wanting to directly exchange blows with its sickle. Don't break it. I want that sickle, shouted Mo Nyan. You fucker! Gua ran and the others cursed Mo Nyan as that shout had terrified them. Boop! Long Chen's fist smashed into the sickle, causing his golden light to explode along with blue flames, painting the world with gold and blue colors. However, both colors clashed and refused to mix. The immense power tore at the dome of the heavens, making the entire world seem like it was about to split in two. After the clash, Long Chen began to unleash a tempest of attacks. With his blood kai soaring, the dragon in his manifestation swiftly surged, to the sky and let out a dragon cry. He was finally fighting seriously. Hey, I wasn't joking. I really need that sickle, so don't break it, shouted Mo Nyan. Long Chen then grabbed that giant sickle and kicked the soul-hooking terror devil's arm. Let go. Chapter 3924 Divine Dragon Tail Pendulum Golden Light gushed out of Long Chen's manifestation. Like a sun, its sacred light erupted, blinding the world. Boom! When everyone's vision was back, they saw the soul-hooking terror devil sit flying by a kick from Long Chen. As for its sickle covered in blue flames, it was in Long Chen's hand. Long Chen then threw the sickle directly toward Mo Nyan, who caught it with delight. Ha ha ha, many thanks. What do you want this thing for? Hee hee, you don't know, do you? With this thing and some other adornments, I can go mess around in hell. Perhaps there are some great tombs in hell as well. Mo Nyan laughed, putting away the sickle with a pleased expression. Having lost the sickle, the soul-hooking terror devil began to attack Long Chen with its claws. Why isn't it coming to attack you? wondered Guo Ran. If it was him... He would reclaim his weapon first before doing anything else. It doesn't have high enough intelligence. Furthermore, it was summoned to kill Long Chen by the Nine Underworld Luacha. As she locked its power onto Long Chen, it will only attack Long Chen, said Mo Nain. Just as Long Chen unleashed that eruption of light, his manifestation began to quiver, and his power was starting to climb beyond his control. All of a sudden, a bolt of lightning hacked down from the nine heavens, causing the world to look like a picture scroll that had a giant crack torn into it. Careful, careful. It still bursts. Well, whatever. In the past, I was always waiting for other people to unleash their big moves. Today, I'll unleash mine first. In any case, I've done what I promised. I've given you all enough time, but if you just keep holding back, there's nothing else I can do. Long Chen looked at his own hands. The power coursing through his body was overflowing past the dams. Crack! Another bolt of lightning split the sky, enlarging the crack from the first bolt that had yet to heal. Long Chen's dragon scales began to quiver, each scale having golden runes flowing within them. As they blazed like tiny golden suns, a violent power slowly rose, causing the void to rumble. Boom! Suddenly, with the collapse of the dam, 
a flood of power poured out like untamable wild horses bolts of lightning continued to rain down from the sky rending the heavens asunder enormous rifts then materialized in the void accompanied by some temporal distortions this display of power was nothing short of terrifying possessing the might to obliterate the foundations of the world seeing this scene long ayashin and kantu could no longer hide their powers as kantu raised his wings the power of cosmos flowed onto them and was absorbed by him as for long ayashin he activated both of his bloodlines letting his seven color supreme blood and violet blood mix and roar with two peerless bloodline powers he was strengthening the sun moon five element flag in his left hand and a blood colored spear in his right hand in the process of strengthening them the void behind long ayashin collapsed his wild power could not be contained by this world unfortunately mo nyan and the others were behind him as the world was being torn apart this tear now stretched toward them if they didn't leave they would also be torn apart even so there was no need for them to do anything cloud simply summoned her true body and brought them away as long ayashin and kantu were accumulating power heaven and earth were starting to collapse the scene was hair raising mountains simply crumbled and floated into the sky while grand dao runes appeared all over the place they were simply milling around chaotically as if the laws of the world were lost the life forms of the three thousand worlds were terrified not knowing what was going on they could only watch in terror as cracks spread across their sky through those cracks they could see countless spatial blades spinning those cracks were akin to the mounds of devils smiling sinisterly at them looking like they might be devoured at any time in the core of the battlefield long chen's entire body was shining a violent aura gushing out of him explosively however that overflowing power made long chen roar painfully he felt like his body was on the verge of exploding kun peng heaven shattering slash with a furious roar kun tu unleashed a sweeping arc with his heaven shrouding wings it was like a river of stars was contained within his wings as they fell from the starry sky dual blood overturns the cosmos as long ayashin stabbed both of his weapons forward the power of his seven color supreme blood and violet blood were unleashed to their limits in an instant his blood kai covered the sky and the power of the ten thousand daos was sucked up by him one unleashed the greatest physical power while the other displayed the greatest bloodline power with both of them unleashing all their might it was as if the nine heavens would be devoured by them divine dragon tail pendulum in response long chen spread his hands and made a seal with both of them his left leg was the axis while his right leg swung like a whirlwind just as long chen's leg began to spin his manifestation vanished replaced by an enormous dragon tail that followed the spinning of his leg like a long whip the golden dragon tail then swung out with an ear-piercing explosive sound crashing against the two incoming attacks both the order of heaven and earth was dealt a devastating blow and it tore the entire world into two both parts then grew further and further away after heaven and earth were torn apart wild astral winds unfurled in every direction the rumbling sound was so powerful that it made people feel like their souls would flee heaven lock earth seal original devil shield golden metal shield menkai yuzayokian by shishi laikai som minjuan cloud little snow and others that specialized in defense summoned their greatest barriers they had long since been prepared mo nyan also took out another coffin and put everyone inside however in front of this apocalyptic attack all of these defenses were rendered useless as mo nyan's coffin was torn apart by terrifying astral winds they were all blown away in a wild tempest but in the end 
it was Monion's coffin that was the most helpful. Although they were blown away, they weren't injured. Everyone hastily stabilized themselves. Looking around, they were shocked to find that the world had changed. The core of the battlefield was a giant black gulch that split the world in two. They could also hear heaven and earth wailing as if suffering from immense pain. Right now, Long Ayashin and Kuntu were covered in blood. Their bodies were almost crushed by this kick from Long Chen. As for that terror devil from hell, it was gone. Having lost its divine weapon, it was unable to block this attack and was wiped out of existence. On the other hand, Long Chen was much better off. Golden blood dripped down his body, and his face was a bit pale. This had truly been a world-destroying exchange, with all three of them having unleashed their strongest attacks. I learned three of the dragon race's divine abilities. The first is dragon roars at the nine heavens, the second is divine dragon tail pendulum, and this is the third. Long Chen took a deep breath. His manifestation then appeared once again as his hands took the form of claws. Two heaven-shrouding dragon claws materialized above the nine heavens. As they appeared, the stars quivered. They instantly locked onto Long Aoshin and Kuntu. Cloud Dragon Immolation Claw. Oop! The dragon claws reached down, tearing through the river of stars. Chapter 3000 Nine hundred twenty-five Kunpeng wings, Kunpeng life pierce. As Kun Tu roared, he abandoned his human form. In his true body, he directly raised his wings against the dragon claws. Kun Tu's wings and head glowed with divine light, forming a sharp arrowhead. With a desperate shout, he smashed toward Long Chen's dragon claws in a practically suicidal charge. Kun Tu was mad with fury. As the ancestral Kun, he had gone from the lower plane to the immortal world after experiencing countless dangers and tribulations. Having defeated all enemies on his path, he had his pride. Hence, how could someone as prideful as him lose to Long Chen? Long Chen was a human. Even if he had the power of the ancestral dragon, he wasn't actually an ancestral dragon, so Kun too could not accept this reality. Now, Kun Tu didn't hold anything back. His very life force was ignited as he was willing to drag Long Chen down to the abyss with him. He was now just as crazy as the nine underworld Yuacha had been. Even if he had to die, he would protect the dignity of the Kun Peng race by dragging Long Chen down with him. Boom! One of the dragon claws was directly blasted apart by Kun Tu's charge. But the other claw smashed into Kun Tu and sent him flying, causing precious Kun Peng blood to rain down. Just then, Long Aoshin's attack came. However, he was different from Kun Tu. An ancient figure had appeared behind him, pouring a desolate aura into his body. The current Long Aoshin was like a different person. Long Chen, let me see how you will block this attack of mine. Seeing Long Chen's attack being received by Kun Tu, Long Aoshin immediately grasped the opportunity, launching his weapons toward Long Chen with all his power. Clearly, Long Aoshin had let Kun Tu take all the attention while he seized the chance to launch an all out attack. I promised that senior to beat Kun Tu with only the power of my physical body, but I didn't say anything about you. In front of Long Aoshin's wild charge, Long Chen directly took out a bronze cauldron that he had obtained in the heavenly tomb. When Long Aoshin saw this cauldron appear, his eyes almost popped out of their sockets. He had actually forgotten about this terrifying treasure. Now, it was too late to dodge. Boop! His sun moon five element flagged and blood spear stabbed into the cauldron with all the power of the mysterious expert in his manifestation. After that, the two peerless divine weapons actually exploded. The explosive impact directly blew apart Long Aoshin's manifestation, sending him hacking up blood with both of his arms broken. He fainted just like that. 
At the same time as Long Aoshin's manifestation was destroyed, within a mysterious palace, a white-haired elder coughed up blood. This was the elder that appeared in Long Aoshin's manifestation. At this moment, he furiously cursed, who dared to touch Aoshin? I will destroy your entire family. If, however, but even if he did here, he wouldn't care. Long Chen still couldn't control the bronze cauldron, only capable of bringing it out like this and then putting it away. But that alone was enough to crush Long Aoshin. After putting away the cauldron, Long Chen walked over to Kantu with the Mingong saber in hand. Kantu was practically falling apart after receiving the dragon claws, but it went without saying that his physical body was truly terrifying. It was Long Chen's first time seeing such a terrifying physical body. Long Chen now controlled ancestral dragon essence blood. However, the ancestral dragon's divine abilities weren't something that he could truly control. He could unleash them, but that was all. He couldn't pull them back or control how they attacked. Furthermore, just unleashing them put a heavy burden on his body. One mistake, and he would be the one injured by his own attack. The dragon expert had actually told Long Chen to only absorb three runes back then, but Long Chen had been stubborn and not wanted to. Now thinking about it, other than dragon roars at the nine heavens, he was completely unable to control the other two divine abilities. Learning more would have been meaningless. Furthermore, time did not permit it. Now, Long Chen understood what it meant for there to always be heavens beyond the heavens, for there to always be a greater talent. The dragon race indeed stood at the peak of the ten thousand beasts, a testament to their strength. However, the Kunpeng race was capable of competing against the dragon race with their own abilities. Kun Tu was the prime example, which opened Long Chen's eyes to the world today. You lost. I'll send you on your way. Long Chen slowly raised the Minghong saber. Enemies were enemies. Long Chen was not so soft-hearted as to let him off. When Kun Tu had attacked the Dragon Blood Legion, he hadn't been thinking about letting them off either. Don't kill him. Suddenly, the dragon expert's voice rang out in his mind. What? Long Chen was startled. Didn't the dragon expert personally ask him to directly crush Kun Tu to death, tear off his wings and refine them into lightning wings? Then you'll have the Kun Peng's speed, said the dragon expert. Long Chen was startled. Possess the Kun Peng's speed? He was very enticed by it. But then thinking about it, what did that have to do with killing Kun Tu or not? If you don't kill him, he will produce new Kun Peng wings, and the new wings might very likely be a mutated set. Then you can cut them off and refine them into lightning wings as well. With four lightning wings, you might even grasp the Kunpeng race's divine abilities. The Kunpeng race's strongest point is their wings. Back then, if it weren't for them being too fast and fleeing as soon as they lost, we'd have exterminated them. Stop wasting time and do as I say. Would I harm you? Toward the end, the dragon expert got impatient. Fearing this, Long Chen circulated the energy in his arms and forcibly tore off Kun Tu's wings from his giant body. Ah! Uh, the half-unconscious Kun Tu was instantly woken by the pain and screamed. Damn, your lungs are quite healthy. It seems that you won't die any time soon. Long Chen put the torn-off wings in his spiritual space and then clicked his tongue at Kun Tu. Long Chen... A warrior can be killed but not humiliated. For you to treat me like this, my Kun Peng race will annihilate you and your entire family. Kun Tu roared. His eyes almost popped out of their sockets when he saw that his wings were torn off. A pair of wings for your life. I'm letting you off easy. Scram. Long Chen kicked Kun Tu, sending his giant body flying. But suddenly... Long Chen's expression changed as he felt an intense summoning. We are being forced out of this world. Not good, I have to hurry up. 
Long Chen grabbed the unconscious Long Aoshin and rushed off in a certain direction. That was the spatial gate leading to Yuo Zichuan's location. Chapter 3926 First Generation GLI Immortal Characters Boss, where are you going? exclaimed Guo Ran and the others. At this moment, a small figure emerged from the shadows. It was Dong Mindyu who was holding a bloody head, which belonged to none other than Jai Wuming. Dong Mindyu had managed to slay him. However, in order to slay him, Dong Mindyu had paid quite the price. She had several bloody holes on her body that still had powerful faith energy thrumming in them. Most likely, when Jai Wuming realized that he couldn't escape, he launched a desperate counterattack in an attempt to drag Dong Mindyu down with him, dealing some serious wounds to her. Big Brother Long Chen, wait for me. A bolt of lightning flew over. It was Lei Linger who had just finished extracting Wang Tianyo's source runes. She then merged back into Long Chen's body. There's no time to explain. I have something extremely important to deal with, but the heavenly Daos are calling us back. There's still a bit of time, so absorb some more primal chaos kai while you can. If you miss this chance, it won't come back again. Ah, Guo Ran, help me split this up with our brothers, shouted Long Chen. Long Chen then flung a spatial ring at Guo Ran. Within it, he saw thousands of heavenly Dao fruits with many random leaves stuck to them. In Long Chen's rush, he had directly grabbed everything growing at the top of the heavenly Dao tree. The fruits at the top had two colors. In other words, those were double supreme heavenly Dao fruits possessing the power of supreme bones and supreme blood. Consuming one would give a normal person a high chance of becoming a double supreme. Many of the people that Long Chen had slain were double supremes. But most of them hadn't reached the point of fully merging both. Once they were slain, though, their energy was absorbed by the heavenly Tao tree which produced double supreme heavenly Tao fruits. The dragon blood warriors all had supreme blood now. Furthermore, their supreme blood was merged with their dragon blood. After consuming this fruit, they could form a supreme bone, and every dragon blood warrior would then become a double supreme. Before Guo Ran could react, Long Chen had already flown off with Long Aoshin. The dragon blood warriors then looked around and saw that Kun Tu had also vanished. Heaven and Earth are healing so there's an enormous amount of primal chaos kai flowing out. Absorb it quickly. Once the world heals, we'll be forced out of the three thousand worlds and back to our own worlds, shouted Mo Nian. He was the first to fly away and summon his manifestation in the distance. He began to crazily inhale primal chaos kai. Long Chen's battle had thrown the laws of heaven and earth into chaos, so primal chaos kai was gushing out to heal the damage. During the battle, the chaos made it impossible for them to absorb it, but now that the laws of the heavenly Daos had settled, the primal chaos kai was gentle enough to absorb. Thus, everyone stopped focusing on their recovery and instead began to absorb primal chaos kai. Boot! Long Chen charged through the spatial gate and saw Yuo Zichuan sitting and healing his wounds. Before Long Chen could say anything, Yuo Zichuan already stared at Long Aoshin in shock. He, Yuo Zichuan instantly saw the pure violet blood in Long Aoshin's body, unable to believe his eyes. Long Chen had already sealed Long Aoshin's senses, so he tossed him to the ground. My spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone were stolen by this fellow. Family head, do you think that using his blood to open the gate will work? Asked Long Chen. Most definitely. Yuo Zichuan checked Long Aoshin's body and was overjoyed. He then nodded confidently. Good, once you finish extracting his blood, don't take his life. I still have a use for him, said Long Chen. Of course, Long Chen still had a use for him. Right now, 
Long Ayashin, had only awakened Long Chen's supreme blood, but not his supreme bone or spirit root. If Long Chen took back his things now, at most, he would reclaim his supreme blood, but his supreme bone and spirit root would be ruined. It would be better for Long Ayashin and the Long family to nourish them, and once the opportunity matured, Long Chen would reclaim all three at once. Yuo Zichuan looked from Long Ayashin to Long Chen. After that, an understanding expression appeared in his eyes, and he smiled. I understand. I'm just one step away from opening the gate. His violet blood is so pure, so using just a portion is enough. I won't take his life. Don't worry, said Yuo Zichuan. But you don't need to let him off too easily either. His violet blood has its own life force, so you can take as much as you can. The leftovers can be given to the Yuo family's disciples, said Long Chen with his own smile. Upon hearing this, Yuo Zichuan's smile widened. He didn't say anything more and just dragged the unconscious Long Ayashin into the spatial barrier. After leaving Long Ayashin with Yuo Zichuan, Long Chen finally fully relaxed. Nothing else here needed his attention. He then left this world as the summoning power was growing stronger and stronger. Long Chen hastened toward the Dragon Blood Legion. After gathering in the Three Thousand Worlds, he had many words he wanted to share with everyone. Just as he was flying, he noticed something odd in the distance, so he rushed over to check and saw a distorted space. A scholar was surrounded by countless characters and was pulling at some giant stone steel inside that distorted space. Lai Chenggang, Long Chen, was dumbfounded as he recognized this person. It was the heavenly genius from one of the four immemorial sects, the calligraphy sects Lai Chenggang. Brother Long, help me lift up this steel. Lai Chenggang was delighted to see Long Chen and called out to him. Long Chen hastily flew over. He found that it was an enormous steel thousands of miles wide, and Lai Chenggang was using some magical art that formed a chain around the steel to drag it out. When Long Chen grabbed the chain, he was shocked to find that it was heavier than an entire star. Even with his strength, the steel was only pulled out a little bit more. What is this? exclaimed Long Chen. I don't know either. However, this stone steel is from the primal chaos era. The stone itself is ordinary, but a portion of the characters carved on it are first generation GLI immortal characters. That is what prevents the stone steel from decaying, and what causes an ordinary rock to be as heavy as a star. These GLI immortal characters are too holy to copy, record, or brand into the soul. If we want to obtain the characters, we have to drag out the entire steel. Ad Lai Chenggang was anxious. Even with Long Chen's strength, they couldn't completely drag out the steel. Right now, the summoning pull was growing increasingly strong. It wouldn't be long before they would be expelled from the three thousand worlds. However, Lai Chenggang viewed the first-generation immortal characters as just as important as his own life, and he refused to let go. Are they all first-generation GLI immortal characters? asked Long Chen. No, there are only a few fragmentary ones. But even those are priceless treasures, said Lai Chenggang. Suddenly, the space around Long Chen and Lai Chenggang quivered, and a whirlpool appeared around them. Seeing this, both of them panicked. They were about to be sent away. Moreover, Long Chen was in a rush. He still wanted to return to everyone and say some things before they departed. Once they were all gone, who knew when they would see each other again? Brother Lai, there is no other way. How about I help you break the steel apart? asked Long Chen. Can you break it? That would be amazing. Lai Chenggang perked up when he heard that. Long Chen then took out a bronze cauldron and smashed it at the steel. Chapter 3927 Violet Blood Seal Release Boom
the stone seal split apart as the bronze cauldron forcibly broke it, delighting Lai Chenggang. He immediately put the broken steel away. Brother Long, no words can express my gratitude. I, Lai Chenggang, owe you a huge debt. However, Long Chen was already gone. After smashing the steel, he left without even saying goodbye. Long Chen had wondered why he didn't see Lai Chenggang in that battle, so Lai Chenggang didn't even want to go there. It seemed that he felt that he had found a priceless treasure. Regretfully, that steel wasn't something that Lai Chenggang could consume on his own. Without Long Chen, he probably wouldn't have gotten anything. Lai Chenggang's aura was still similar to before. Most likely, after finding the steel, he was only thinking about taking it and didn't even go to absorb primal chaos Kai. All his efforts were on the steel. Since Lai Chenggang had done so, then there must be some concealed areas within the three thousand worlds that had attracted some other geniuses. Not all the heavenly geniuses in the three thousand worlds had gone to that final battle and died. The space around Long Chen was shaking, with the whirlpool growing stronger and stronger. The three thousand worlds were about to heal, and the expulsion force got stronger. It was unknown if it was because Long Chen had almost destroyed the three thousand worlds, but their expulsion force was incredibly strong. Long Chen's speed was severely constrained by it as the space around him seemed to grow solid. Long Chen then let out a punch, shattering the space around him. When the pressure lightened, he directly shot out. He repeatedly struck the void, shattering space and throwing the laws of heaven and earth into chaos. Only then was he capable of passing through this world. Buzz! Long Chen finally saw the Dragonlud Legion in the distance, joining forces to resist the spatial energy that was sending them away. Brothers, go. Cultivate well. We didn't have a chance this time, but next time we meet, let us drink until the world flips, shouted Long Chen. As the spatial power grew, the Dragonblood Legion's barrier was quickly shattered, drawing the Dragonblood warriors away. Boss, take care. When we meet again, we'll flip heaven and earth. The name of the Dragonblood Legion will ring throughout every corner of the world. The Dragonblood warriors shouted back at Long Chen, weeping. They had just met again, but had to be separated like this. They didn't even get a chance to speak with each other, so all of them felt aggrieved. We will, we definitely will. The Dragonblood Legion was number one on the Martial Heaven continent, and we'll also be number one in the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands, roared Long Chen. The Dragonblood warriors vanished. After that, Bai Shishi, Dong Minjiu, Yu Zaiokian, and Cloud all waved at Long Chen as they unwillingly left. Little Snow also roared at Long Chen. That roar contained endless emotions. Long Chen, promise me that you'll look after King Shun. I hope that the next time we meet, she will be openly married to you. Meng Kai looked at Long Chen emotionally. Sister, the pill fairy blushed. She liked Long Chen and also knew that Long Chen had many women close to him, but these words made her quiver. In the immortal world, cultivators didn't have as many restrictions as in the mortal world. As long as you were strong enough, you could have countless Tao companions. But rarely would people wed. Hence, a wedding could be considered a grand ceremony that would draw the blessing of the heavenly Tao's. Whether it was the man or the woman, they would receive a blessing, but they could only receive it once. With these words, Meng Kai completely won over Yu King Shuen and Bai Shishi. Bai Shishi in particular knew that Meng Kai was Long Chen's to be wed wife. For Meng Kai to actually give up the position of this blessing for the Pill Fairy was an immense sacrifice. She was giving up her number one spot, so Bai Shishi could only stare at her in disbelief. On the other hand, the pill fairy was so panicked that she didn't know what to say. Meng Kai, Long Chen almost wept. For Meng Kai to sacrifice this much for him, he realized he would never be able to repay her. 
to have won over such a woman was akin to receiving a multitude of blessings across countless lifetimes he understood what she was saying and that was why he felt even guiltier when it came to his multiple women long chin felt blessed enough to die but he also felt so guilty toward them he had no idea how he was supposed to repay them for their feelings menkai smiled her smile was so beautiful that it was like the world had suddenly brightened no matter how much i sacrifice how can it compare to undergoing a thousand reincarnations just listen to me i believe that with your smarts and abilities no matter what dangers you encounter you can allow king Shuin to marry you in a blessed ceremony that is the only way to repay her for her feelings just then the world shook the scars that long chen kun tu and long ayashin had torn into the world finally healed after that an intense force sent them away menkai bai shishi yu zaioki and cloud little snow gu yang yu zaifeng lai kai song minjuin bai zaiol and the others had been holding on but now they were all sent away without being able to speak in the end only mo nian remained with long chen he shook his head at him and said staying with you really is unlucky i didn't get anything in the heavenly tomb instead i almost lost my life then i had to protect you during this battle and didn't get a chance to show off in the end you even fed me some dog food tell me what am i supposed to say to you long chen asked didn't you get that sickle from the netherworld tch who do you think i am i have always been someone who eats the big fish the big meat i don't even care about such small fry well next time i'm not looking after you i want my name to resound throughout the land this time it was a failure i feel quite bad about being made a side character said mo nian irritably all right don't cry like that fine next time when you have a chance to show off i'll play a supporting role for you promised long chen ah ha ha that's what i was waiting for good then i'll inform you beforehand of that chance mo nian laughed and also vanished long chen also couldn't hold on as a powerful suction force dragged him out of the three thousand worlds boom long chen had just vanished when in another world the void exploded and two doors on a gate opened after that violet kai gushed out of the gate finally success yu zichuan looked at the open gate emotionally long ayushin was in his hand as pale as paper as if all his essence blood had been extracted seeing this yu zichuan just smiled and let go as soon as yu zichuan let go long ayushin's body was dragged away by spatial energy and brought away after that countless figures wrapped in violet kai walked out of the gate they were all elders with astonishing auras this unworthy one is Liu Zichuan. Greetings, ancestors. Liu Zichuan respectfully knelt on the ground toward those elders. We're out. We're finally out. Child, you've accomplished a great service to my violet blood race. The violet blood race is making a return. Those who harmed us, just wait. Those elders looked around at this world and roared those roars were so powerful that the stars in the sky fell it was many times stronger than long chen's dragon roars at the nine heavens chapter three thousand nine hundred twenty eight the human race's history long chen was sucked into the void that was constantly twisting around him it was like he was falling into a space-time passageway leaving him feeling dizzy and light-headed what's going on why is it different from when i entered shouted long chen when you came in you were coming from a major world to a minor world it was naturally easier to follow that flow but now that you're going back you're going against the flow the laws of the major world are pulling you back so it's naturally less comfortable said the dragon expert senior why didn't i run into everyone in the three thousand worlds 
didn't you say that i would see my old friends asked long chen didn't you see so many of them the main reason you had to come here was from my dragon scale so being able to see so many of your friends was already not bad furthermore do you know what that bronze cauldron you obtained is let me tell you you've profited immensely this time are you still not happy no no i just miss my friends said long chen hastily this time he didn't see chu yao liu ryan yi jik yu tang wan er Zian, wild ah and others he felt a bit empty without seeing everyone the one he was worried about most was Wilda. This foolish child had no survival skills. Would he be reduced to a beggar like when Long Chen encountered him for the first time? If that were the case, Long Chen really would die of guilt. Moreover, it wasn't just Wilda and his women. Only twenty seven hundred dragon blood warriors had appeared this time. The healing warriors in particular had not shown up not a single one thinking of this long chen was full of worry he wasn't dissatisfied with his gains this time but he was worried about those people even just getting to see them for a glance would be good at the very least he would get to see how they were don't worry and don't blindly ask around destiny will draw you together again he he however i really have to say that you did well this time you won me some face i finally got to vent a bit after so many years the dragon actually laughed feeling very pleased with long chen's fight the most satisfactory thing wasn't long chen's fighting style but how he had shown off that domineering display of his the icy arrogance and his air of standing above the rest of the world had particularly satisfied the dragon expert it was like it was the one who had fought and won. He he, it's all thanks to your guidance. Long Chen took advantage while the iron was hot to directly suck up. It went without saying that the dragon expert had helped him out immensely. Thus, he was full of gratitude and reverence toward it. Only now did Long Chen learn that this dragon expert was a terrifying ancestral dragon someone who had created their own complete bloodline inheritance long chen only obtained a portion of its essence blood and three divine abilities but that was enough for him to sweep through the three thousand worlds without the ancestral dragon reverse scale against the monstrous experts like long eashin kuntu the nine underworld liuacha jai wuming yin chang sheng shi yang weng Tanyao, and the others he would be forced to flee with the support of this dragon blood his body felt full of power giving him endless confidence he had relied only on the dragon race's divine abilities to sweep through his enemies this time he hadn't even needed to use a single one of his own techniques he he this time your flattery isn't bad i'll accept it now do you understand why i didn't have you listen to your grandfather said the dragon expert long chen nodded i understand my grandfather's control over his power has to be raised to the pinnacle because his power is limited the powerful control is what grants his limited power such immense killing power but i am different just like the old man says in front of absolute power all techniques are meaningless rather than focusing on control it would be better to gain even more power no matter how much you save and scrimp with a bowl of water even if you unleash its power to the limit it will be limited but a raging river can splash wastefully and still possess shocking power rather than saving every little bit i can expand my power even more i won't need techniques then if i did it would just mean that i didn't have enough power ha 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 good little fellow so you finally reached this point did you know your human race cannot store much energy due to your bodies so you had no choice but to think of ways to use your power efficiently thus your human race was particularly smart and came up with countless magical arts and divine abilities using your own power 
you drew out the power of the heavenly dows. This increases your attack power and allows you to save your own energy. But then, your human race had many cultivators who reached the wrong conclusion. You constantly studied all kinds of magical arts to increase the efficiency of your attacks, reducing the costs of the attacks. That isn't to say that drawing out the power of the heavenly dows is wrong. The important thing is to base it on your own circumstances. Your human race cared so much about drawing out this energy that you neglected your own power. In the end, your human race grew too dependent on the heavenly dows. I will tell you now, in the primal chaos era, your human race's physical bodies were actually very powerful. Even amongst the ten thousand races, they could squeeze into the top ten. Really? Long Chem was shocked. The human race was always said to possess the weakest bodies of the ten thousand races. They could enter the top ten? He couldn't believe it. In that era, your human race didn't know any magical arts or battle skills. They had to rely on their bloodline divine abilities to protect themselves. At that time, your human race's bloodline was very pure. Mountains could be moved, seas could be overturned as easily as turning a hand. However, your human race was fickle. When the heavenly dows changed, they changed along with them. They constantly researched the changes in the heavenly dows and used the essence of heaven and earth to strengthen themselves. They gradually formed the path of cultivation. Once the path of cultivation was opened, the path of their bloodlines was shut. As your human race's magical arts and battle skills grew stronger, your bloodline divine abilities weakened. In the end, your physical bodies weakened more and more. Now, your human race's physical bodies rank near the bottom, but your magical arts are the strongest amongst all races. Furthermore, after your human race set foot onto the path of cultivation, the other races imitated you, spending a great deal of effort on transforming into human form in order to receive the blessing of the heavenly dows. However, it is different now. The heavens are no longer the old heavens, but your human race's cultivation style didn't change with it this time. Your human race no longer has anyone capable of creating a new cultivation system that adapts to the changes of the heavenly dows. Thus, the human race is now much weaker. Compared to the immemorial era, you are much, much weaker. But you cannot place all the blame on no longer possessing such abundant primal chaos chi. The main reason is because your human race no longer understands the heavenly dows, said the dragon expert profoundly. Were the heavenly dows intentionally changed by some power to target the human race? Asked Long Chen. The dragon expert didn't reply, no longer speaking. As a result, Long Chen's heart shook. Did an existence like this dragon expert also have taboos about this subject? Suddenly, Long Chen's vision changed as he reappeared in the violet flame heaven capital. But even before he fully grasped what he was seeing, a terrifying sensation of death enveloped him. He directly grabbed the Minghong saber and unleashed a full power swing. Chapter 3929 Out of the Tiger's Mouth into the Wolf's Throat Boom With a heaven-shaking explosion, Long Chen's hand broke and his arm turned numb. He grunted as his insides flipped inside of him. And Puda. This attack had come completely silently, and Long Chen had only blocked it thanks to his instincts. After blocking it, and Puda's face instantly appeared in his mind. At this moment, sand and rubble were flying about while the sun and moon had lost their light. Long Chen suddenly realized that this place was undergoing an immense battle. Long Chen was blown back by Imputus' dagger. He didn't even see Imputus' figure, but a deathly aura locked onto him at this time. With a roar, Long Chen's saber danced. He unleashed thirty-six slashes, and thirty-six explosive sounds rang out so close together that it sounded like a single sound. Long Chen was shocked. Imputus' attacks came too quickly, so quickly, 
that Long Chen couldn't even see them. Long Chen was relying entirely on his instincts to block the attacks. It was like he was blind, not knowing where his opponent was. He could only rely on his sense of danger to randomly attack. This was Long Chen's first time having a true fight with Impuda, and only now did he understand just how terrifying Impuda was. The Impuda that Long Chen had seen and fought before was an act. Today, he had given up the act and was truly intent on killing Long Chen. Under this wild storm of attacks, Long Chen didn't even have a chance to summon his battle armor. He could only block as best as he could without making any mistakes. Oh. Suddenly, a saber tore through the heavens and the void exploded. Impudus' pudgy figure finally appeared. It was Syed Yuhong who had forced him out. Three three-colored divine flowers were revolving behind Zayag Yuhong. Wielding a saber, Zayag Yuhong was like a supreme god. Damn fatty, you dare to sneak attack me? Just as Zayag Yuhong forced out in Puda, the infuriated Long Chen landed a slap on his fat face. As a result, in Puda's body rolled into the distance. Long Chen was shocked by in Puda's power. He had been pressed to the limit by Impuda's unending stream of attacks. If it weren't for Zayag Yuhong, he would have died. Suddenly, the space all around Long Chen exploded and countless experts appeared. Long Chen instantly spotted Wang Taibei, the Kunpeng race's ancestor, the monsters from the devil race, and others. Those old fellows also had three divine flowers behind them. As the flowers revolved, they seemed to be one with the heavens. Their terrifying auras then crashed down on Long Chen, making him feel his body would explode. Long Chen, you little brute! Return will you watch his life! When Liao Benking let out a roar, faith energy erupted around him. He also had three divine flowers behind him, but his flowers were only one color. Meanwhile, Zai Guhong and the others had three colors. If you want to kill my brother, you'll have to see if I, Zai Guhong, ascent first. Zai Guhong snorted and slashed his saber. No matter how Liao Ben Keng tried to get past him with some tricky movement art, he was accurately struck and forced back. But Liao Ben Keng was sent flying. In front of Zayad Yu Hong, he still wasn't strong enough. A Kunpeng then spread its wings that covered the heavens. As that enormous figure opened its mouth, divine light shot out. The Kunpeng race's ancestor was unleashing its innate divine ability. When that divine light appeared, even Long Chen was locked down by its power. Long Chen's soul felt like it was going to be torn apart. He was shocked to find that even a simple lock was almost unbearable for him. Such an attack was enough to kill him millions of times over. However, in front of this divine ability, Zayad Yuhong smiled coldly. He held his saber with both hands, one on the hilt and one on the blade itself. He was using the saber's blade to receive this terrifying ray of divine light. Boom! The divine light fell on Zayad Yuhong. But at this moment, a divine mark lit up on Zayad Yuhong's saber, taking the form of a sparrow with a dragon head. When this mark lit up, the Kunpen ancestors attacked directly shattered. Fragments of divine light then shot through the air like sharp swords blowing apart the clouds and piercing rocks. As a result, the city below crumbled. These buildings, which had endured the passing of countless years without falling, were unable to resist these fragments of divine light. Die! Suddenly, the four elders of the all-devil race roared. Almighty Devil Kai erupted as they joined the fray. That then, I made you flee for your lives. Today I can do the same. Zaya Guhong swept out his saber, and the dragon sparrow mark once more lit up. With an explosive sound, Zaya Guhong was forced back a few steps, while those four old monsters of the old devil race were sent flying like shooting stars. Even one against four, Zaya Guhong was unmatched. Even if you all come together, so what? 
let's see who will live to walk out of the violet flame heaven capital xia gyu hong's saber rumbled standing in the air he seemed like the celestial emperor that stood above the mortal world possessing an unspeakable domineeringness and calm at this moment long chen realized that they had been fighting for a while they probably realized that their disciples had died and wanted to kill long chen so Zai Guang was naturally fighting them off. Long Chen, you brute, return my wild blade and heavenly lightning tower, or I'll make you beg for death. Wang Tebei glared at Long Chen furiously, his eyes scarlet. Those were the national treasures of the Violet Thunderclap Empire, but they had actually fallen into Long Chen's hands. Not just those weapons. Hand over my source runes as well. In the distance, Wang Tianya was glaring at Long Chen, his eyes full of rancor. Lei Linger, you didn't kill him. Long Chen was surprised. Lei Linger apologetically said, I'm sorry, big brother Long Chen. I felt pity for him, so I didn't kill him. Lei Linger had taken Wang Tianya's lightning sword and the lightning tower. After that, she even absorbed his source runes, leaving him essentially half crippled. In the end, she didn't give him the killing blow and let him go. Long Chen smiled. Not bad, not bad. You have your own feelings now and have the power to judge right and wrong for yourself. You no longer act only in accordance with my will. That's great. I'm very proud of you. Seeing Long Chen not blame her and actually praise her, Lei Linger was relieved. It went without saying that a half-dead Wing Tania meant nothing to Long Chen. But on the other hand, the fact that Lei Linger could now think for herself made him very happy. She had grown, wanting to take things from Long Chen's hands. They had to be dreaming. Long Chen completely ignored Wang Tebei and Wang Tianyo. His disdainful expression was all the reply that they needed. This expression enraged all of them because their descendants or disciples had been killed or dealt grievous blows by Long Chen. Zai Yu Hong, I, Wang Tebei, am going to kill this little brute. Let's see if you can actually stop me. Wang Tebei let out a roar. A lightning spear appeared in his hand, thundering clearly. Looking at his ferocious appearance, Long Chen stealthily asked the dragon expert, Senior, if they all attack me, can I use the bronze cauldron to kill them? I don't like how arrogant they're acting. Chapter 3930 Unable to see the light of day, are you crazy? was the dragon expert's response. But can't the bronze cauldron deal with them? You can't even control the cauldron. Without activating the single rune, you can't even unleash a single trace of its power. Moreover, these fellows are triple supremes that have condensed the three flowers' heavenly murder manifestation. Your human race's so-called three flowers condensed the pinnacle. Even in the immemorial era, such figures could be considered top experts. You, a little fellow who has just entered the immortal king realm, wish to compete with them? You can't compare them to those old fellows in the three thousand worlds. Did you think a tiny pool could raise any whales? Asked the dragon expert. I suppose not. Long Chen understood now. There was still a gap between him and these old monsters. He was able to sweep through his enemies in the three thousand worlds, but he couldn't do the same to these old fellows. Because of this, he was a bit displeased. He felt like he had just reached the pinnacle but he just had to run into these fellows. He hadn't gotten enough of the previous feeling. Even if you could calm one of them to their death, what would be the point? Let me tell you that bronze cauldron's origins are shocking. You cannot take it out so lightly. There are many old fellows here. If one of them recognizes the origin of this bronze cauldron, let me tell you, Every single life form within the nine heavens and ten lands will hunt you down. Whether it is fellow heavenly geniuses or old monsters that have been sealed for tens of millions of years, 
they will all come out in full force. This is no joke. Conserve yourself, lest you let your head get hot and ruin everything, warned the dragon expert sternly. Long Chen's heart shook. Although he knew that this cauldron's origins were extraordinary, he hadn't expected it to reach this extent. Considering that it was able to resist the attack of the black dagger, it had to be something on the same level, but it seemed that he was still underestimating it. Long Chen was originally planning on canning Wang Tebe in the same way that he had done in Long Ayashin. After that, Wang Tebe would at least be seriously injured, and Long Chen could deal him the killing blow. But it seemed that this actually wasn't worth it in the dragon expert's eyes. Xia Guhong unleashed three slashes with his saber, causing heaven and earth to quiver. So the three flowers represent the essence, Kai and spirit, also representing the spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone. When all three merge into one, you become one with the heavens. Thus, there are immense differences even between fellow divine venerates, realized Long Chen. With every movement, these experts caused the ten thousand Daos to rumble. They controlled the laws of heaven and earth. Having reached the point of turning something complex into something simple, their power was concentrated. While on the surface it appeared as if their might was inferior to Long Chen's in the Battle of the Three Thousand Worlds, in truth, it was the opposite. Every technique was perfectly polished. There were no huge explosions or mass collapses in the world because their control had reached a pinnacle. They didn't waste a trace of their power. An example was in Puda's attacks that had come silently and without any pressure, but they made Long Chen sweat and had almost taken his life. Your human race's divine venerate realm is split into heaven, earth, and mortal realms. They are mortal venerates, earth venerates, and heaven venerates, said the dragon expert. Then are they all heaven venerates? asked Long Chen. He had never heard of this. No, they are all earth venerates. Although they have merged their spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone, as well as condensing the three flowers, they are one step away from heaven venerate realm as they have not fully merged all three flowers. If all three became one, the three flowers would become one three-colored grand Dao flower. It would condense above their heads, and that would be the true three flowers condense the pinnacle. They can only count as half-step heaven venerates. But that final half-step is incredibly difficult. It is like a heavenly chasm that countless people will never cross in their lifetime. Upon hearing about it, Long Chen was shaken. So the divine venerate realm was actually so complicated. It seemed that the ones that he had encountered in the three thousand worlds were all mortal venerates. Based on the dragon race's explanation, an earth venerate had to at least be a double supreme and would have condensed two grand Dao flowers. When his thinking reached this point, Long Chen realized that he was wrong. The divine venerates in the three thousand worlds had not condensed a single grand Dao flower. They weren't even earth venerates. When Long Chen thought of this, he felt a chill. The divine venerate realm was like a pool of deep water. When he came out of the three thousand worlds, he thought that he would be able to sweep through the divine venerate realm. Perhaps he could even cause some trouble for Lord Brahma. Now, he realized that he was thinking too naively. Lord Brahma had lived for countless years and had definitely become a heaven venerate. If Long Chen were to look for him, it would be no different than sending himself to his death. At this moment, astral winds erupted. The Kunpeng ancestor, Wang Tebe, in Puda, Liao Benkin, and the Old Devil Racy's elders started attacking Xia Guhong sharply. It seemed that everything before had just been probing blows. Now, they were truly unleashing their divine might. As the three flowers behind them spun, their auras mixed with heaven and earth. Boom! The Kunpeng ancestors' sharp claws tore through the void, covering the entire violet flame heaven capital. It was as if even the stars in the sky were pressed down by it. 
Are you really planning on having a decisive battle now? Sae Gyuhong's gaze instantly turned cold. Long Chen cut off my Kun Peng race's wings. That is the greatest blasphemy to my race. Hand over the wings, and I can spare his life, roared the Kun Peng ancestor. The victor is king. Since you lost, you should have lost your life. But now you want to take back the spoils of victory. What happened to your Kun Peng race's pride? retorted Zai Yuhong frostily. If that's your response, then let's not argue any longer. We can decide things with our actual ability. The Kunpeng ancestor sneered, showing no mercy. Both Zia Yuang's saber slashed down furiously. The body of the saber was shining as the power of the three flowers flowed into it. With a heaven-shaking explosion, the immense power tore through heaven and earth, shattering the enormous violet flame heaven capital. It then began to sink along with the surrounding terrain. Long Chen coughed up blood. Previously, Xia Guhong had been protecting him in his domain, so he hadn't felt anything. But when Xia Guhong received the Kumpeng ancestor's attack, he no longer had the power to protect Long Chen from the shockwaves. Hence, when Long Chen felt their shockwaves, he realized just how terrifying their seemingly ordinary attacks were. Dai, with Xia Guhong being tied down by the Kunpeng patriarch, Long Chen was exposed. Seeing this chance, Liao Banking moved to attack Long Chen. In an instant, vast faith energy locked onto Long Chen. He couldn't move within this frozen space. Double Dragon Destruction He barely managed to form hand seals, summoning an attack that burst forth in the form of a twisting lightning and flame dragon. Boom! The two dragons smashed into Liao Benkeng, leaving him hacking up blood and in a miserable state. He was almost blown apart by that explosion. Rat of the human race, you won't get a chance to grow up. You can die now. At this moment, the claw of a devil god crashed down toward Long Chen. I don't care any more. I'm going to use the bronze cauldron. Long Chen roared to the dragon expert. He had used up the power of his dragon blood, and all his spiritual strength had been given to Lei Linger and Huo Linger. If he still didn't use the cauldron, he would die. However, before he could even summon the bronze cauldron, a resplendent cry rang out, sounding like a phoenix cry, yet also like a dragon cry. It then caused the ten thousand Daos to submit as a supreme divine might descend it. After that, a flash of saber light cut through the air and blasted apart that devil elder. Since you want to have a real fight, I, Xia Yuang, will give you what you want. Xia Yuang stood in front of Long Chen with a dragon sparrow manifestation behind him, pointing his saber at his opponents while exuding chilling, killing intent that made them quiver. Chapter 3931 Dragon Sparrow Blessing This saber slash shook the heavens, its divine light cutting through all restrictions of heaven and earth along with that old monster from the old devil race. When his three grand Dao flowers crumbled, the world trembled and a cascade of radiant light fell, as if heaven was mourning for his death. At this moment, Xia Guhong's manifestation had the figure of a dragon sparrow inside of it. As the aura of primal chaos flowed within it, it unleashed a supreme divine might, akin to a holy object that could not be touched. Upon seeing the image of the dragon sparrow, the experts in the surroundings turned pale, and their bodies involuntarily quivered. It was like an invisible force was pressing down on them, trying to force them to prostrate themselves toward the dragon sparrow. He still has the dragon sparrow's soul essence. In an instant, Wing Tebe, the ancestor of the Kunpeng race, Liao Benkang and Puda and the other old experts retreated. Are you satisfied now? Although I no longer have the Grand Zaya dragon sparrow, its soul essence is still with me. With a trace of its power, I just unleashed the first of the Dragon Sparrow three attacks. There are still two more. After unleashing those two attacks, 
I will use up the dragon sparrow's blessing power and enter a weak state. So, tell me, who is willing to receive my next two attacks? Zai Yuhong's voice boomed throughout heaven and earth, filled with unquestionable dignity and might. Zai Yuhong, the last monarch of the Grand Zaya Nation, was the possessor of the ultimate divine item, the Grand Zaya Dragon Sparrow. As long as the Dragon Sparrow's blessing was still present, no one would be able to beat him. After all, he was still one of the strongest experts in the current nine heavens and ten lands. Back then, something had happened in the Grand Zaya Nation, causing the Grand Zaya Dragon Sparrow to vanish along with Zaya Yuhong. Even so, Zaya Yuhong's light was so strong that even after countless years had passed, the legends about him continued to circulate around the world. Wang Tebe, the Kanpeng ancestor, Lio Benkei, and the others were probing him this entire time to see if he had lost the Grand Zaya Dragon Sparrow's blessing. Now that he revealed the Dragon Sparrow manifestation, their hearts shuddered as that divine might could not be replicated. The Dragon Sparrow blessing still resided within Zaya Yuhong. When one of the four old devil elders was slain by Zaya Yuhong, it terrified the remaining three. Their devil race was naturally suppressed by the Grand Zaya Dragon Sparrow's divine light. It was only thanks to them dodging quickly otherwise, that terrifying attack might have been enough to slay all four of them together. Aside from feeling scared, they were also enraged. They just realized that Wang Tebe, the Kunpeng ancestor, Lio Benkang, and Puda, and the others had been using them. Other than Lio Benkang, the others had had a chance to attack and kill Long Chen, but they hadn't done so. Only the clueless elders from the old devil race had instinctively attacked Long Chen. As a result, they succeeded in forcing out the Grand Zaya Dragon Sparrow's blessing with one of them getting killed in the process. Sinister human race, you will pay for this, roared one of the old devil race's elders before leaving with his people. It was unknown if the sinister human race he was referring to was Saiyak Yuhong, Long Chen, or Wang Tebei, and the others, or perhaps all of them together. They realized that if they stayed here, it would be too dangerous for them. After all, this was the human race's territory. If they were conned again, they might just be wiped out. In the three thousand worlds, from tens of millions of the old devil race's disciples, only a few hundred survived and came out. If these elders were to die as well, that really would be the final nail in the coffin. The old devil race's retreat left Wang Tebei and the others in a difficult spot. After all, Zaya Yuong had already summoned the Grand Zaya Dragon Sparrow's blessing clearly going all out. Although all of them were top experts with their own powerful trump cards, none of them dared to say that they could receive Zaya Yuong's next attack. The current Zaya Yuong was unbeatable and absolutely terrifying. As a result, none of them was willing to take the risk because a single mistake would cost them their lives. Long Chen, hand over Tianyao's source runes and we can still discuss this. Otherwise you will regret this, demanded Wang Taibei. How could Long Chen not see that they were now too scared of Zai Yuong to fight? And then they wanted to threaten him in this situation? He disdainfully responded, Is your head full of crap? That foolish child of yours is crippled, and you're hoping for me to heal him. There must be something wrong with your head. Long Chen, hand over two Ur's wings. Put any conditions you want on it, said the Kunpeng ancestor frostily. At least, he was a bit smarter. He knew that trying to threaten Long Chen was meaningless, so he directly told Long Chen to quote a price to buy back Kun Tu's wings. Long Chen curled his lips. There's no need for that. I cultivate the dragon race's inheritance, so it is fated for me to be mortal enemies with your Kanpeng race. Do you think that I'd return the wings? Those are my spoils of battle. I'm going to start a collection in the future. You, The Kanpeng ancestor was enraged. Taking Kun Tu's wings was an immense humiliation to the Kanpeng race, 
something completely unacceptable. That's in a... Suddenly, Kun Tu appeared. It went without saying that the Kun Peng race was truly powerful. Even after being beaten to that extent by Long Chen and having his wings torn off, other than his face being pale, Kun Tu looked no different than usual. His blood kai had even been somewhat restored. Long Chen, you cut off my wings this time, but you'll regret it in the future. Some day, I will cut off your head and use it as a chamber pot. Kun Tu glared at Long Chen icily. Who doesn't know how to say vicious words? If you don't accept your loss, let's fight again in front of everyone right now so they can be witnesses, said Long Chen disdainfully. HMPH, just wait. I, Kun Tu, swear that I will kill you. All right, I'll wait for you. Hopefully, you will bring another complete pair of wings, or I don't know what I'll cut off next time. Kun Tu had already turned around and started leaving. But when he heard Long Chen's words, he suddenly coughed up blood. Kun Tu was extremely arrogant and wanted to put on a tough front. In truth, his blood kai was not yet recovered, and his injuries were still unstable. Thus, the fluctuation in his emotions caused him to cough up blood. Rep, you'll pay for your insolence. The Kunpeng ancestor shouted at Long Chen before leaving with his people. Once the Kunpeng race left, Wang Taibei, Liao Benkang, in Puda, and so on also went away. From a distance, Wang Chaniao made a throat-cutting gesture to Long Chen before leaving. At first, Long Chen had been feeling some pity for this fellow, but that single gesture destroyed any sympathy Long Chen felt for him. This fellow really did deserve everything he got. Lei Linger, next time, make sure to properly teach him how to behave, said Long Chen. All right. Don't worry, I won't be so soft next time, promised Lei Linger. Once all the enemies left, all that remained here were human experts. But they didn't quite dare to directly leave. They were afraid that Zayad Yuhong's enemies were still lurking around. Since they couldn't beat Zayad Yuhong, they might take out their anger on the other human experts. Big Brother Yuhong, you really are amazing. Junior brother weeps in admiration. Your glory is like an infinite, unbroken, torrential river. It was only at this time that Yuo Ran and Zaya Chen dared to come out. Since they couldn't help in that fight, they didn't want to worry Long Chen by becoming targets. Thus, they had been hidden in the crowd. But after the fight finished, this fellow Yuo Ran immediately laid some heavy boot licking upon Zaya Yuhong. At this time, Yu Kingshuan also walked over. Seeing her, Long Chen was delighted, and without thinking about it, held her hand. Brazen scum! How dare you blatantly blaspheme the princess? All of a sudden, a half-man, half-woman shrill voice rang out. When Yu Nuchwai's dislikable face appeared, he also pointed his fingers at Long Chen. Tokov! I've endured you for long enough. Long Chen directly slapped Yuna Chui's hairless face. Chapter 3932 Marriage Proposal Betrothal Gift Long Chen had long since found Yuna Chui displeasing, but he had held himself back to give face to Yu Kingshuan. Yet, this damn Yuna Ch just had to appear in front of him this way, pushing Long Chen's tolerance to its limit. As a result, Long Chen directly slapped him, crushing half of his face. Like a beaten persimmon, Yuna Chui flipped through the air and collapsed on the ground like a dead toad. His body just lay there twitching as he was no longer conscious. The current Long Chen had absorbed ancestral dragon essence blood, so his physical body had reached a level that even he himself couldn't imagine. If he didn't have mercy, then even if Yunuch Wai specialized in a special soft and defensive cultivation technique, this slap would still have blown him to pieces. The people who had come with Yunuch Wai cried out in shock and hastily checked his wounds. With their help, Yunuch Wai slowly regained consciousness. Old Foji, if you dare to blindly shout in front of me again, 
I'll make sure you don't see tomorrow's sun, said Long Chen coldly, pointing at Yuna Chuai. This person truly drew his ire. If it weren't for you, King Chuan, Long Chen would definitely teach him how to behave. Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen's dark expression, Yu Qingxuan was afraid that he really might kill Yuna Chuai. Although she also disliked this servant, in the end, Yuna Chuai still belonged to the Vermilion Bird Empire's imperial household. It would not be good for Long Chen to kill him. Yu Qingxuan then pulled Long Chen back, having him calm himself down. Long Chen often had a smiling, practically rascal-like expression, but once he was enraged, he was capable of doing unspeakable things. This time, in the Three Thousand Worlds, Long Chen had slain more life forms than Yu Qingxuan had ever seen in her lifetime. Hence, she really was worried about Long Chen's anger. Thine, just to wait. Yu Nuchwai held his face, his eyes full of rancor, but he knew that if he were to fight Long Chen now, he would definitely die. Actually, Yuna Chui could also be considered a peak expert. His soft and flexible energy was incredibly powerful, and he also possessed sharp senses. For his cultivation, he had even severed his life rod. Due to this confidence in himself, before the Three Thousand Worlds opening, although he had felt Long Chen to be strong, he hadn't been afraid of him. However, just now, Long Chen's slap had directly knocked him unconscious, making him realize that the current Long Chen was on an entirely different level. His senses had actually failed to realize it beforehand. Although he couldn't be considered a wise man, he knew better than to fight when the odds were against him, so he naturally didn't dare to mess around again. Go ahead and wait. Once I finish up my matters, I will go to the Vermilion Bird Empire and propose to your Imperial Princess. If you have guts, just try and stop me. Then you can see whether or not I can kill you, said Long Chen coldly. Long Chen. Long Chen actually said such a thing in front of everyone, making Yu Qingxuan instantly blush at how direct he was. Give me some time to prepare a betrothal gift. Since Menkai has told me to marry you openly and grandly, no one in this world can stop me from marrying you, said Long Chen heroically. Who is Menkai? Bird words, snorted Yuna Chui. In an instant, his vision darkened as Long Chen slapped the other side of his face, sending him flying again. After coughing up blood, he fainted. Brazen scum! You dare to blaspheme a fairy! Is the name Menkai something that you can say? sneered Long Chen disdainfully. His tone was perfectly identical to Yuna Chui's just now, causing Yu Qingxuan to bitterly hold back her laughter. She then rebuked him, Stop messing around. My vermilion bird empire cannot possibly accept you if you have such a temper. My imperial father isn't someone easy to talk to either. That's no problem. He's still my father-in-law. As fellow men, I'm sure we'll communicate easier. And what about my mother-in-law? Are there any taboos I should be aware of? Long Chen smiled at Yu Qingxuan. Hearing this question, Yu Qingxuan blushed all the way to her ears. How was she supposed to respond to such a thing in front of so many people? With a somewhat pissed expression, she said, since you're so confident in your abilities, you can just come directly. What's the point of preparing beforehand? I'm sure a peerless hero like you, someone who annihilated millions and millions of experts in the three thousand worlds with a single roar, is capable of anything. After saying that, she turned to leave, but Long Chen directly grabbed her hand. Just before, he had a completely fearless, unrestrained appearance. But all of a sudden, he was showing a pitiful appearance, holding Yu Qingxuan's sleeve with both hands like a rogue who had turned over a new leaf. Fairy, I was wrong. I was just bragging just now. Please don't take it to heart. I was only bragging to give myself the courage to do so. You also know just how small my guts are. 
if i don't do this how will i propose to the great princess of the vermilion bird empire a noble woman like you is naturally noble and mature don't lower yourself to the level of a little child who lost their way in this world like me please give me your guidance so i can walk a bright path and illuminate the lantern that guides my way from now on i renounce my old self i will no longer be a lost sheep despite knowing that long chen was just teasing her that pitiful appearance and sincere words still made yu king chuan laugh in truth she was not angry she was just worried that if long chen came to the vermilion bird empire like this he would suffer quite a bit looking at long chen's still pious begging appearance yu king chuan didn't know what to say to him he was like a child who realized that he had done something wrong and was sincerely apologizing that's enough don't mess around like before or you'll sound boastful i have to return to the vermilion bird empire so that my imperial father and mother don't worry after saying that she blushed even more in a voice that only the two of them could hear she said you come soon after saying that Yu Qingxuan didn't even dare to look at Long Chen again and directly left with the disciples of the Vermilion Bird Empire. The Vermilion Bird Empire's disciples had long since been told by Yu Qingxuan not to participate in any large battles. In the Three Thousand Worlds, they were within a treasure land that Yu Qingxuan had sealed for them. Thus, all the Vermilion Bird Empire's disciples returned alive. Quite a few of them stealthily waved goodbye to Long Chen, hoping for him to come. Some pretty female disciples even winked at him as if warning him that marrying their princess was not so easy and that he should be mentally prepared. When Yu Qingxuan left, Long Chen felt like his soul had departed with her. After that, the butterfly spirit race, the stone spirit race, and some other races that had friendly relationships with the human race bade him farewell as well. Long Chen seemed to greet them warmly, but in truth, he wasn't even aware of what he was saying. He had just reunited with everyone when they suddenly had to part again. As a result, he was feeling a great sense of loss in Reed. Come, all right, let's return to the Wine God Palace. Once everyone said their farewells, Xia Guhong brought Long Chen, Xia Chen, and Guo ran away as well. Chapter 3933 Devil Demonic Poison We're safe. We're finally safe. Every time I close my eyes, I still see those sinister faces. I think I really was frightened out of my wits in the last battle. Did I perhaps get old? The moment Guo ran stepped through the Wine God Palace's gate, he directly collapsed. Sensing the peaceful air around him, he felt like all the energy supporting his body had suddenly vanished. Even while Xia Guhong was bringing them here, Guo Ran was on edge, afraid of encountering some demon midway through the journey. The last battle had really shaken his heart and soul. It wasn't just him. Xia Chen was the same as he felt like his entire body was going to collapse. His tense heart finally relaxed at this moment. You guys have been struck by the devil demonic poison. That's why you feel that way. It has nothing to do with guts, said Xia Guhong with a faint smile. Devil demonic poison? What's that? Long Chen had never heard of such a poison. Guo Ran and Xia Chen were also startled and got nervous again. It is a kind of spiritual poison and also a kind of corpse poison. When you fought Xi Yang, Xi Yang sacrificed countless devil experts to awaken that corpse along with the devil demon runes on it. Fortunately, he didn't know how to properly use it. That is a divine ability possessed only by the emperors of the winged devil race. Once they unleash it with their full power, well, considering your current spiritual strengths, you would instantly be turned into madmen, explained Xia Yuhong. Hearing this, Long Chen and the other two gasped. That immemorial devil corpse had been terrifying enough. Fortunately, 
even after sacrificing so many devil experts, Shi Yang hadn't managed to draw out its full power. Don't worry. With your willpower, even if you just ignore it, it will vanish within a few months. If you wish to resolve it faster, then consuming wine or eating pills can heal it in just a few days. It's nothing to worry about, said Zayed Yuhong with a smile. Bun bun. I thought that my Dao heart had grown unsteady. I thought I had been broken. Yuo ran side with relief and laughed. In truth, all things have a bad side and a good side. If your willpower is strong enough, you can turn this poison into a mental trial for yourselves. Use your willpower to resist it, and it will be quite beneficial. It will stimulate the growth of your spiritual strength until the poison disappears, said Zayed Yuhong. Hearing that, Long Chen was instantly at ease. All dragon blood warriors had top level willpower, so they weren't afraid of this kind of corrosion. The only one that could be vulnerable to such a thing was right beside him. He he, I feel like my spiritual strength is enough. I don't need such a trial. I think I should focus on forging new armor and weapons for the Dragon Blood Legion. My time is very limited, don't you think so, boss? Kyo Ren smiled at Long Chen. Long Chen curled his lips. This fellow always had this lazy nature, always running or hiding from troublesome things. But he also had a valid excuse this time, so Long Chen couldn't force him. In the Three Thousand Worlds, the Dragon Blood Legion had shown their terrifying combat power, but their main weakness was also glaringly obvious. It was the lack of suitable weapons. If they each had suitable weapons, then with the support of the dragon blood, the power that they could unleash in their formation would rise by more than ten times. Let alone ordinary heavenly geniuses, even peak experts like Qi Yang, Yin Cheng Sheng, Wang Tianyao, and the likes would be stopped by their formation if they had suitable weapons. They might not even have a chance to flee. Furthermore, when the Dragon Blood Legion reunited this time, they were forced into a small formation. Although their cooperation was still excellent, it was greatly different from the perfect formations that they had used on the Martial Heaven continent. If the problem with the formation and weapons was solved, Long Chen was confident that even without him, his brothers would have had enough power to wipe away all their enemies this time. Big Brother Yu Hong, how may secret realms open this time? It was just the three thousand worlds, right? Asked Long Chen suddenly. In the three thousand worlds, Long Chen only had a chance to ask some simple questions. From Bai Zhiol, he learned about the situation in the High Firmament Academy. Other than Bai Shishi, Bai Zhiol, King Feng, and Kai Yu, the other disciples from the High Firmament Academy had not entered the Three Thousand Worlds. They had gone to another secret realm called the Heavenly Origin World. It was said that this time, they went to different secret realms because of the Dean's orders. Long Chen had heard of the Heavenly Origin World from Long Aoshan. Long Aoshan had been glad that he hadn't gone to the Heavenly Origin World and had instead chosen to come to the Three Thousand Worlds. Of course, Long Chen was also glad that Long Aoshan had chosen to go to the Three Thousand Worlds, or Liu Zichuan's efforts would have been for nothing. There are actually many that open this time. There is the Heavenly Origin World, the Five Color Heavenly Lake, the Peakless Island, the Jialai Immortal Realm. Zaye Guhong listed off dozens of names before saying, however, a person cannot set foot on two different paths. The Violet Flame Heaven Capital was the closest opening back then, and I can only guarantee your safety within this region. Thus, I helped you choose the Three Thousand Worlds. You won't blame me, right? Of course not. I'm incredibly grateful. Junior Brother has profited immensely in the Three Thousand Worlds, laughed Long Chen. He naturally wouldn't blame Zai Yuhong. First, without counting the ancestral dragon reversed scale, 
just the bronze cauldron alone was already an absolutely priceless treasure something that even caused that mysterious dragon expert to be moved furthermore he had also obtained the moon trees and fusing trees as well as countless powerful corpses every single one of those things would have made the trip worth it as for xia chen and guo ren they had gained countless materials and runes for their forging and inscription arts. Overall, they had all profited. As Xia Guhong explained things, the three of them learned that the changes in the world were not concentrated in just one place. All kinds of special lands of destiny had opened at once, and some powerful sects would decide where to send their disciples based on their unique aptitudes. Long Chen smiled. This was an estimate based on the risk and possible gains. There was no profit without risk. As the greater the profits, the greater the risks. It was unfortunate for those that had come to the three thousand worlds. If they had not set their sights on Long Chen's dragon scale, they wouldn't have died. But humans truly were willing to die for treasures. Greed made people crazy and lose their minds. When they returned to the Wine God Palace, Guo Ran shamelessly found a senior from the Wine God Palace for a jug of poison, expelling wine to remove his spiritual poison. As for Xia Chen, he chose to use this poison to increase his own spiritual strength. After all, a talisman master needed a strong spiritual strength as the foundation, so he naturally wouldn't give up such a good tempering chance. The three of them directly went into seclusion. Three days later, Long Chen had fully recovered. As his mind descended into the primal chaos space, he smiled. He he, let me appraise my gains this time. Chapter 3934 30,000 meter trees. At this moment, the ordinary corpses that Long Chen obtained from the heavenly tomb had been completely devoured by the black soul. Before the final fight, he had set the powerful immemorial corpses to the side and simply let the black soil absorb the ordinary corpses from the heavenly tomb, as well as those life forms that Luo Zichuan had slain in that mysterious space. Back then, he had too many corpses, so after putting the ordinary ones in, he hadn't paid further attention to the primal chaos space. Also, during the fight for the dragon's scale, he hadn't had time to look inside. Now, he saw that all the corpses he had piled onto the black soil had been devoured. Most importantly, the short moon and fusang trees were now 30,000 meters tall. According to reason, this would make them towering trees. But they were still in the form of soft shoots, looking as if the slightest jab would cause their sap to flow out. Beneath the bark, it was possible to see some liquid flowing inside, looking like a person's meridians. Energy slowly flowed within these translucent trees. Even though they were still in a young form, the flames around them already gave off a powerful pressure. This power only coiled around the branches without spreading further. Those were the moon flames and the sun flames, the core flames of the moon tree and the fusang tree. Long Chen looked around and found that not too far from them, Huo Linger was slowly absorbing flame energy from a fusing tree. After unleashing the double dragon destruction, Huo Linger and Lei Linger actually managed to force back Liao Benkang in his three flower state, almost killing him. From this, it could be seen just how terrifying their power was. However, back then, the two hadn't held back and had unleashed all their power in one blow. After that, they fell unconscious. To Long Chen's surprise, Huo Linger had recovered most of her energy in just half a day as she absorbed the power of the sun flames and moon flames, causing her recovery speed to be amazing. On the other hand, Lei Linger was still a clump of lightning right now, not even able to take her dragon form. She would need some time to recover. Long Chen couldn't help sighing emotionally. The energy of the three thousand moon trees and fusing trees was all for Huo Linger to absorb. 
She was the gang leader of this region. At her current speed, she would be fully recovered in just a few hours and be capable of helping him fight soon. However, Lei Linger was actually doing quite well for herself. She had a lightning tower beside her, and a lightning sword was swirling around her as protection. They seemed to be using their own power to help Lei Linger recover. These two lightning divine weapons had actually revolted against Wang Tianiao, but they were so loyal and devoted to Lei Linger, sacrificing their own core energy to help her heal. Such a thing was rarely seen amongst divine weapons. I wonder if the Violet Thunderclap Empire has more treasures. If I can get more lightning weapons for Lei Linger, that would be good. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. It seemed that he would need to find a chance to take a stroll through the Violet Thunderclap Empire's treasury. Otherwise, with the support of the moon trees and fusing trees, Hua Linger would grow increasingly powerful alongside them and Lei Linger would fall behind. If that happened, the two would be unable to unleash the double dragon destruction. As a result, Long Chen would be unable to use the lightning flames devour the heavens. The pitiful Wang Tianyao and Wang Tebei had yet to even find Long Chen for revenge when Long Chen already started making them his targets. Long Chen now turned toward the core region. The heavenly Dao tree was the same as ever. He had plucked quite a bit of its fruit, but there was still plenty remaining. As for the seven treasure-colored glass tree, it was continuously unleashing seven colored immortal mist. Standing within this mist, Long Chen's mind was instantly refreshed. Any weariness he had was erased, and he entered a state of empty spirit. The seven treasure-colored glass tree possessed immense life energy, but this life energy did not leave its body, belonging only to it. It was like it was expressing some kind of law that made it its own world. The seven treasure-colored glass tree has grown a great deal and accumulated its power. Zaya Chen and Guo Ran should be able to use it, murmured Long Chen. Long Chen knew very little about the seven treasure-colored glass tree. When it entered the primal chaos space, it actually rivaled the heavenly Tao tree, splitting its land until their territories were in the form of a dual fish Taiji diagram. The heavenly Tao tree occupied the black fish, while the seven treasure-colored glass tree had the white fish. Thus, Long Chen always felt that the seven treasure colored glass tree had an amazing background. Furthermore, there was the slightest trace of a sacred aura exuding out of it. Every time, divine light and immortal mist flowed around it, making it appear very powerful. However, that sacred aura was still very weak, as though it hadn't grown at all. After staring at it for a long time, Long Chen gave up on figuring out anything about the seven treasure-colored glass tree. He returned his attention to the moon trees and the few sang trees. Sensing the endless life energy within them and their terrifying flame energy, Long Chen smiled. Even though they were still tender shoots, they possessed a strength surpassing that of the fully grown wood foundation divine trees. Despite their smaller numbers, their exceptional quality more than compensated for the shortfall. Most importantly, they still had limitless room to grow. As long as Long Chen kept giving them more nutrients, they would keep growing. Then Long Chen would have an undying body. It's too bad. I shouldn't have roared back in the three thousand worlds. Even if I had to roar, I should have held back. Shattering their Yuan spirits was all right but I should have kept their bodies intact. Ugh, I'm still too childish. Long Chen sighed and shook his head. If he could draw in the corpses of millions and millions of experts, the moon trees and fusang trees would definitely grow even faster. Long Chen now looked at a giant immemorial corpse that he had tossed to the side of the black soil. This was the powerful corpse that he had tossed in at the start. He had found that a corpse on this level was too powerful, to the point that the black soil had great difficulty decomposing it. Hence, he had tossed it to the side, 
and thrown in weaker corpses to decompose. Long Chen was in no rush to get rid of these powerful corpses. After killing Xi Yang, he had a greater understanding of just how terrifying these corpses were. These corpses had many runes on them. They were runes that came from the immemorial era and had some research value. Perhaps they weren't useful to him, but they could benefit Guo Ran and Xia Chen, Xia Chen especially. After his mind exited the primal chaos space, it entered his mind sea. The bronze cauldron was just floating there silently and motionlessly. After accepting Long Chen as its master, it didn't change in the slightest bit. There are words on it. Long Chen looked at it closely and suddenly noticed that there were characters carved into the cauldron. However, they were covered in a layer of what seemed to be rust. Long Chen was about to knock off some of that rust when the dragon expert gave him a harsh warning. Don't meddle with it, or you will die without a doubt in your next heavenly tribulation. Chapter 3935 Future Path Long Chen's hand was about to touch the rust. But when he heard the dragon expert's warning, he snatched his hand back like he had just been electrocuted. You never learn your lesson. I already told you that this cauldron's origins are too great for you to research, said the dragon expert irritably. But I spent so much effort to obtain it. It has to help me out at least a little bit, quibbled Long Chen. Help you? You aren't even qualified to touch it right now. That rust is covering up heavenly Tao runes of the primal chaos era. If that rust falls, just a look will cause it to appear in your next heavenly tribulation. With your current power, what are you going to use to resist it? Even a thousand lives wouldn't be enough, raged the dragon expert. Fine, I was wrong. Long Chen stopped arguing and obediently accepted his mistake. In truth, he was very curious about this cauldron and was still thinking about how he could learn more about it. The dragon expert said that it was incredibly terrifying but didn't mention anything about its actual origins. Thus, Long Chen felt an itch. Every person had a curious heart, and the stronger the person, the stronger their urge to know things. Long Chen was no exception to this. I've told you, the bronze cauldron's origins are immense, and it isn't something that you can currently control. When your cultivation base reaches that level, it will naturally reach out to you. You have plenty of secrets on you, so don't mind this one. In any case, don't touch it and don't expose it, warned the dragon expert. All right, I'll listen to you. Long Chen put on a very obedient appearance before saying, Senior, last time, your dragon scale had eight runes. I only learned three. Can you pass the others to me now? Long Chen had ignited five of the runes during that battle in order to rapidly absorb the three runes. Those three runes were Dragon Roars at the Heavens, Cloud Dragon Immolation Claw, and Divine Dragon Pendulum Tail. Those three moves were incredibly terrifying. Using them, Long Chen had blasted through his enemies. That refreshing feeling was something that would stay with him for the rest of his life. If he could learn all eight, then Long Chen wondered if he would be qualified to challenge three flower divine venerates. Give up on it. You aren't a true member of the dragon race, and your essence blood is limited. Even if all eight were transmitted to you, you would only be able to unleash three. Furthermore, after every advancement, my dragon race seals their divine abilities into their reverse scale in order to have a fresh start for new divine abilities, as I don't even remember what divine abilities lay within that reverse scale. There's no way for me to teach them to you, said the dragon expert. Uh, Long Chen couldn't help being a bit disappointed. Although the dragon expert veiled this insult, Long Chen could tell that it was saying that he was still human, and his power couldn't reach the same level as the true dragon race. Compared to them, there was still a difference, and based on its tone, that difference was not small. That made Long Chen feel a sense of loss. 
There was no way for him to imagine the power of an ancestral dragon. It didn't seem like this gap was something that he could make up for. As if seeing through Long Chen's disappointment, the dragon expert's voice softened slightly. You foolish child, what are you sad about? The power of your physical body was not just increased with my essence blood. Have you forgotten what your foundation is? The nine-star hegemon body art. Long Chen was instantly revitalized. That was right. He cultivated the nine-star hegemon body art. Could he merge the power of his dragon blood with the nine stars? This instantly reminded Long Chen of his foundation. The power of the dragon blood had almost made him forget about it. Long Chen felt ashamed inside. The ancestral dragon essence blood had given him so much power that he only focused on the dragon race's divine abilities. Although the dragon race was powerful, the nine-star hegemon body art was also a supremely terrifying cultivation technique. Right now, he was still fumbling around blindly with this technique and had already gained so much power. First, without counting the power of the nine stars, there was also the power of the stars above the heavens. Right now, he was only able to draw in the power of 999 of them. But what kind of power would he have if he drew in 9,000? What about 108,000? Many thanks for the reminder, Senior. Long Chen sincerely expressed his thanks. The dragon expert said, Remember, your foundation is the nine-star hegemon body art, whose power is beyond your imagination. Since you walked down your own new path, once you succeed, its power will definitely be greater than the original. Long Chen nodded. Junior understands. I will continue testing my path of the nine stars. No, there is no rush right now. You've just obtained my dragon blood, and it still hasn't fully merged with you. For the next little while, you should focus on merging with it. Once you can fully retract my dragon blood aura, you will have reached full mastery. Fully retract it. How can I possibly do that? Long Chen was startled. Right now, the dragon blood was surging through his body out of his control, causing his blood kai to rage like a burning fire. What terrifying level of control would it require to fully retract such a terrifying force? Inreed, come, you have to make it possible. You have to fully control everything. Otherwise, if the power of your dragon blood is too strong, it will overwhelm you, the host. The power of your nine stars, your astral energy, your thunder force, your flame energy, and even your pupil arts will all be affected. If it continues for a long period, it will delay your cultivation speed. Right now, you have just entered the immortal king realm and have merged with my dragon king essence blood. In terms of realm, it is a perfect match. If you cannot control the power of your physical body, your cultivation base will definitely stagnate. In the Dragon King realm, the greater your power, the less dragon blood are leaks. So, it must be the same in the Immortal King realm. Your essence, Kai, and spirit must be balanced in order to advance. Your Kai is powerful and there's no need to even say anything about your spirit. Thus, you don't need to cultivate them in the immortal king realm. You just need to cultivate the power of your physical body. In other words, in my immortal king realm, all I have to do is merge with the dragon blood energy and that's it. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. If that was the case, it would be much easier. Then he wouldn't need to consume pills until he wanted to puke. As long as you can control the power of my dragon blood, you can essentially skip through the early and mid stages of the Immortal King realm. As for the late stage, you will also require the power of your nine stars. However, at the ninth heaven stage, you will start needing to merge the power of the nine stars with the dragon blood in order to break through. That will be the most difficult time. It will also be a test as to whether or not you can trailblaze a new path on the way of the nine stars, said the dragon expert. Long Chen instantly understood. 
after the ninth heaven stage, he would have to condense a new seven-star battle armor. His current seven-star battle armor was only the most basic seven-star battle armor. If he wanted to get stronger, he would have to change it just like how he had changed the six-star battle armor. He he then there's still quite a bit of time. It just so happens that I have something important to do beforehand. Long Chen instantly thought of Yu Qingxuan's sweet expression before she left, leaving him smiling excitedly. Chapter 3936 Blood and Flame Sorghum Long Chen then summoned Guo Ran and Zaya Chen. After finding a secluded place outside the Wine God Palace, Long Chen then took out those immemorial corpses. The Wine God Palace was a holy land, and Long Chen felt like taking out corpses there, even if it was in a seclusion cultivation room, would be a kind of blasphemy to the Wine God Palace. After he took out the corpses, Guo Ran and Xia Chen began to record the runes on them. Those runes were almost impossible to find in the current era, so every single one of them had great research value. The two of them spent three days copying them all down. After that, Long Chen tossed the corpses back into the primal chaos space. He kept them on the black soil, letting it slowly absorb them. When the three of them returned to Wine God Palace, Long Chen summoned the seven treasure-colored glass tree, and the two of them began to study these runes under its light. Their minds were a hundred times clearer than normal under its influence. As they crazily studied all the runes, they kicked out the most valuable ones. Some of them came from the corpses' bodies, but some also came from their weapons or even from the ground around the heavenly tomb. The two of them made many tiny annotations as they worked, afraid that they would no longer understand these runes after the light of the seven treasure colored glass tree faded. After seven days, the seven of them had picked out hundreds of runes and studied them intensively. Although it was only a tiny portion of the hundreds of thousands of runes that they had recorded, these were the very best of them. Just understanding all these hand-picked runes would take some time. Although they had a general understanding of them now, activating and using them would require a long period of testing and analysis. After all, these immemorial runes could be considered divine inheritances of the immemorial era, so a single complete immemorial rune was of incalculable value. It could be said that Xia Chen and Guo Ran were profiting immensely. Seven days later, Long Chen put away the seven treasure-colored glass tree and told them, I'm going to the Vermilion Bird Empire. Are the two of you staying in the Wine God Palace or coming with me? Boss, you're going to propose to Big Sister Kingshuin, so we won't disturb you. Xia Chen and I have discussed it. Right now, we only have a basic plan for the Dragon Mark Battle Armor and Dragon Mark Battle Swords. We need to slowly test out the details. Thus, I'm thinking of first gathering the Dragon Blood Warriors in the Violet Flame Heaven. Only once they actually wear it will we know how effective it is. Last time, I recorded where every single one of them was. The Violet Flame Heaven has 360 of them, so I want to gather them first. Then, we will base the Dragon Mark Battle Armor and Dragon Mark Battle Swords on their requirements. If they can use them, then the others should also have no problem with them, said Guo Ran. Long Chen nodded. Then I'll trouble you. Don't forget to ask around if there are other dragon blood warriors present who didn't enter the three thousand worlds. If you can find them, gather them all. Only twenty seven hundred dragon blood warriors had gathered in the three thousand worlds, meaning there were many more who hadn't entered. After all, there hadn't been a single member of the healing corps present. Without the healing warriors, the Dragonblood Legion was only a sharp blade with no flexibility, easy to shatter. It was not a state that was suitable for long-term battles. Last time, if they had had the healing warriors present, they wouldn't have to worry about being injured. And without those misgivings, 
their combat power would have been much greater. Since Xia Chan and Duo Ran were going to search for the dragon blood warriors scattered throughout the violet flame heaven, then they might as well spend a bit more effort on searching the entire place for some other dragon blood warriors that hadn't been in the three thousand worlds. It's no trouble for us. Boss, you're the one in trouble, laughed Guo Ran. He patted his chest confidently, indicating to just leave this matter to him. How am I in trouble? demanded Long Chen, laughing involuntarily. This time, he was going to openly and righteously marry you, King Xuan. To put it frankly, he was picking up a girl. Ah! Oh. Guo Ran and Xia Chen laughed. Xia Chen said, it definitely will be trouble. The Vermilion Bird Empire's history is immense, and their inheritance is shocking. Big Sister King Xuan is their imperial princess, so within her veins flows the noble Jilai bloodline. Boss, if you want to pursue her, it won't be that simple. Furthermore, you've offended Yuna Chui. Even before you get to the Vermilion Bird Empire, you'll probably have to deal with all kinds of trouble. TCH, this is nothing to your boss. I don't dare to say anything else, but your boss is very confident when it comes to picking up girls. As for that Yunuch why, he's nothing more than a hopping clown. He's not even worth mentioning. Long Chen simply smiled, not at all worrying about Yunuch why. After Meng Kai gave her nod of approval, Long Chen felt like he had received a sacred edict from the Empress herself. He was now on an imperial order to pick up a girl. No one could stop him from openly pursuing Yu Qingxuan. Xia Chen and Guo Ran were even more blunt than Long Chen. After talking, they directly left the Wine God Palace, leaving it to Long Chen to say their goodbyes to Xia Yuhong. You wish to go to the Vermilion Bird Empire? Have you prepared a betrothal gift? Xia Yuhong looked at Long Chen oddly. He had thought that Long Chen would go to great lengths to procure a betrothal gift. How do I have time to get some betrothal gift? Am I not the best betrothal gift there is? Long Chen laughed. Xiaid Yu Hong also laughed. Little fellow, your skin really is thick. Going empty handed would be rude. Fortunately, I already prepared a little gift for you. Here are ten jugs of top-grade blood-fire sorghum wine. It is the favorite wine of the Emperor of the Vermilion Bird Empire, Yu Zioan. Furthermore, this wine is split into nine grades, and he only ever drank the third grade. Even then, he praised it as a divine wine. You've drunk the seventh grade before, and this is the ninth grade, the top grade. Senior apprentice brother Lashi's special peerless divine brew started 8,000 years ago. Right now, there are only 12 jugs. Making more will require a blood fire sorghum to fully mature. That is something that can only be done 10,000 years from now. Thus, these 10 jugs of blood fire sorghum wine are exceptionally valuable. I had told senior apprentice brother Lashi about your matter and he didn't hesitate to bring out these ten jugs. You have to remember this favor. Long Chan was extremely moved. This senior Lai Shi was someone he had met before. He was a terrifying flame cultivator. Although Long Chen was unable to see through his cultivation base, and he was very humble, his wine was hot and powerful. A single gulp could make someone fall unconscious for days. When Long Chen drank his wine, he ended up unconscious for three days. The wine god palace's seniors all treated him very well. As a result, Long Chen respectfully received the wine and put it away solemnly. When the time comes, we'll see. If his mood isn't good, it would be a waste to give him such good wine, said Long Chen painfully. Xia Yuhong laughed. You're too stingy. You want to marry his daughter, so what are a few jugs of wine in comparison? If Yu Zioan knew what you were thinking, he probably wouldn't even let you into the Vermilion Bird City. Wait, you said his name. Was Yu Zioan? Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. 
That name gave him a slightly bad feeling. Chapter 3937 Refining Kunpeng Wings Yu Xiaoyan. He's Yu Qingxuan's father. You don't even know this? asked Xia Yuhang in surprise. He thought that Long Chen would have long since inquired about such things. Yu Qingxuan's name hadn't changed after reincarnating, and her father's name was also Yu Xiaoyan. Was it the same person as the Pill Valley's master, Yu Xiaoyan? However, that didn't make sense. Yu Xiaoyan hadn't died in that final battle, and the dragon expert had saved all the survivors of the Martial Heaven continent. So, there was no way that Yu Xiaoyan had reincarnated. When Long Chen thought of that, he relaxed slightly. It was a coincidence. It had to be. Long Chen asked, Bade brother, what kind of person is Yu Xiaoyan? He's a strategist, but he is also very stubborn and has an explosive temper. As the emperor of the Vermilion Bird Empire, he is supported by the karmic luck of the entire Vermilion Bird Empire, so he is incredibly powerful. However, despite being very wise, he is so obstinate that without his two empresses assisting him, the entire Vermilion Bird Empire would probably be severely wounded due to him. Although Xia Yuhong's tone was polite, it was not difficult to tell from his evaluation that as a fellow ruler of a nation, Xia Yuhong didn't have that high of an opinion of Yu Xiaoyan. In other words, he's a straw bag that relies entirely on his wives to run his empire, probed Long Chen. You did not hear that from me, said Xia Yuhong. The two looked at each other and suddenly laughed. Although Xia Yuhong had not said it, the meaning was already clear. If Yu Xiaoyan was not the main problem, Long Chen had even greater confidence. So it was up to his mother-in-law. He had ways for that. As for the rest, Long Chen didn't bother asking about it. If he did, others would think that he was afraid. After he asked Xia Yuhong about the aftermath of the Three Thousand Worlds, Xia Yuhong said, You killed the experts of multiple powers, so those powers are now encouraging their most outstanding disciples to make killing you their goal. Some peak geniuses are already getting restless. I should warn you that anyone who dares to challenge you will definitely not be weaker than Shi Yang, Jai Wuming, and the Nine Underworld Yuacha. They will at least be at that level. I heard that Kun Tu has gone to the Kunpeng Racy's ancestral lands and made a grand sacrificial ceremony for his ancestors. You should be careful. For you to humiliate the Kunpeng race like this, they will not leave things as they are. You also left behind Wang Tianyao, and after returning to the Violet Thunderclap Empire, Wang Tebei arranged for him to enter seclusion. It is probably a trial to make him even stronger. Based on what I know, while Wang Tebei is very fond of this descendant of his, he has never taught him his true skills. It's because he wanted to see how far Wang Tianyao could go with his own abilities. But this time, Wang Taibei is transmitting his life's learning to Wang Tianyao. His thunder force is very powerful, so don't be careless. When Xia Yuhong brought up his old rival, Wang Taibei, he grew solemn. Even in the battle after the Three Thousand Worlds, Wang Taibei had not displayed his true abilities. Everything had only been probing blows. Clearly, this old enemy of his was hiding many powerful techniques that he didn't wish to expose. Big brother, don't worry. I will not view any enemy lightly. Long Chen nodded. After chatting a bit more about the current situation, to use Zayed Yuong's words, the current Long Chen had been pushed to the heart of the storm. Many people wanted to kill him. In particular, Xia Yuhong warned Long Chen to be careful of Incuda, an expert assassin who used schemes and lay in the dark. Having killed his most cherished disciple, Long Chen would surely be his target. Unlike Liao Benkang, Incuda would not attack lightly. But when he did, it would be a killing blow. Based on Xia Yuhong's understanding, 
and Puda had not truly used his killing blows against Long Chen. Had he employed them, Long Chen wouldn't have lasted a single exchange. Impuda had two motives for adopting this approach. One was to test Long Chen's power, and the other one was to force Sai Yuang into saving Long Chen, using Long Chen's weakness to provoke Sai Yuang into revealing his true power. This led to Sai Yuang slaying one of the elders of the old devil race. Impuda was the one in command, controlling the tempo of the battlefield and constantly probing Sai Yu Hong and Long Chen's weaknesses. Although Imputa retreated in the end, Sai Yu Hong was worried that Imputa might have used those attacks to figure out Long Chen's true power so that he could set up a sure kill trap for Long Chen next time. Be careful. This time, he might even use his true body to subdue you, warned Sai Yu Hong. Last time, it wasn't his true body. Long Chen was startled. Of course not. Liao Benkeng also didn't come in his true body, or his three flowers wouldn't have looked like that. Although they are still world kings, they are god cultivators and have accumulated faith energy for countless years. Once their true bodies use the three flowers, their true power is not at all inferior to my own, said Zia Yuhong. Long Chen was speechless. Imputa was actually so powerful. Although Long Chen didn't look down on him, he had underestimated Imputa's power. Imreed, come against Lyo Benking, you'll still be able to run. He's brainless and attacks without thinking about it. Despite knowing all kinds of assassination techniques, his character does not suit the path of an assassin. He calls himself the master of assassination arts, but in truth, his assassination arts are very average. If he walked a different path, his accomplishments would definitely be higher. Thus, I'm not worried about Lyo Benkeng. It's only in Puda. He will set up a huge trap before he makes his move so that you can't run. Once you notice any signs of a trap, you have to immediately run. Otherwise, by the time you see the full trap, it'll be too late, said Zia Yuhong. Long Chen nodded. Imputa was truly sinister. After thinking for a bit, Long Chen suddenly asked, Big Brother, do you know Yi Sheng? Of course. The silence of the night, Yi Sheng. She is the true queen of assassins in the nine heavens and ten lands. She has never lost. People who she wants to assassinate don't even get a chance to flee said Zia Yuhong with a touch of admiration. It seemed he actually had quite a high opinion of her. I heard that Imputa's true body doesn't dare to appear because he is hiding from Yi Sheng. Will he take the risk to come out to kill me? asked Long Chen. That is the rumor. Yi Sheng did say that as long as Imputa came out into the Nine Heavens, she would cut off his head. After that, and Puda's true body never revealed itself. As for Yi Sheng, she disdains hunting down his clones, so Imputa is still able to move throughout the world with his clones. But you should not be careless. Imputa has a secret technique. Under special conditions, his true body can instantly switch places with his clone. His true body will only take a second to kill you. Although Imputa doesn't dare to walk openly with his true body, that doesn't mean that his true body is truly locked down, said Zia Guong. So that's the case. Junior brother understands. After asking a few more questions, Long Chen left Zia Guong's residence. His expression tightened. That damn fatty really is a thorn in my flesh. His most frightening aspect is how shameless he is. No status, position, or seniority can restrict him. He has no limits for how low he can sink. No, I need to wait a few more days. I'll prepare another trump card. Long Chen entered seclusion and took out a pair of wings that was flowing with divine light. They were Kuntu's wings. Seeing them, Long Chen smiled sinisterly. I might not be able to beat you, but I can slap you in the face and run. 
Hee hee, you aren't able to factor this pair of wings into your schemes, are you? Chapter 3938 Great Success Flame Energy and Thunder Force interwove around a pair of heaven covering wings that were now around ten feet long. As the Kunpeng's runes diminished in size, they became even more intricately woven and densely packed. Within these runes, a potent combination of flame energy and thunder force coursed through, creating a mesmerizing display of power. This was the refining method that the dragon expert had taught Long Chen. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on using the true dragon essence blood to control these wings, but the dragon expert said that the Kunpeng and the dragon races possessed such powerful wills that they couldn't be subdued so easily. One tiny slip, and those wings would simply self-destruct. Thus, Long Chen was using flame energy and thunder force to refine them. Those were natural energies, so the Kunpeng will would not fight them that hard. Using the thunder force and flame energy to slowly grind away the Kunpeng will was like slowly boiling a frog in hot water. Simply a matter of time. Long Chen's original plan was to just leave the Kunpeng wings in the primal chaos space and have Hua linger and Lei linger slowly refine them over time. After all, he was in no rush. But after hearing Xia Yuong's warning, Long Chen decided to first refine the wings before leaving. The inside of the Kunpeng wings was filled with divine light, flames, and lightning dancing within them. At this moment, the wings were shuddering and the roar of the Kunpeng could be heard. The Kunpeng will was resisting. As Long Chen didn't dare to force it too much, he directed Huo Linger and Lei Linger to slow down a bit, giving it some room to breathe so that it didn't destroy itself. Once the will calmed down, Huo Linger and Lei Linger continued. Then when it got berserk again, they gave it some time. Like this, the Kunpeng will was slowly erased. As its core energy was extracted, the resistance weakened. After three days, the Kunpeng will was gone completely, a sign that this pair of wings were flawlessly refined. They looked as if they were made of gold. Their divine light was brilliant, and they even possessed a sacred aura that made people not dare to look at them directly. The Kunpeng race's sacred energy is so powerful. Long Chen was a bit surprised. Of course. Without it, how could the Kunpeng race be qualified to challenge our dragon race? The Kunpeng will is gone now, so you can insert your spiritual strength inside. I will teach you how to control these runes. Hee hee, quite a few of the Kunpeng race's ultimate moves are stored inside this pair of wings. With them, you will truly be like a tiger with wings. With the divine abilities of my dragon race and the Kunpeng race, you might be an unprecedented existence, said the dragon expert with a hint of excitement. Senior, you won't mind if I use the power of your dragon blood to control the Kunpeng's divine abilities, will you? Probed Long Chen. Why would I? You aren't really from my dragon race, so you don't need to preserve the purity of your bloodline. He he, killing the Kunpeng race with the Kunpeng race's divine abilities. Now that is satisfying, laughed the dragon expert. HMPH the ghost fox, evil dragon race's appearance had the shadow of the Kunpeng race behind it. I have always suspected that it was the Kunpeng race that's causing trouble from behind the scenes. If they can play like this, well, my noble dragon race wouldn't lower themselves to their level. He <laughs> he. Long Chen suddenly understood. It seemed that the dragon expert was using him to antagonize the Kunpeng race. Long Chen was a human, so this matter couldn't be blamed on the dragon race. The dragon race would retain their noble and haughty position while Long Chen would be the one to drag down the Kunpeng race. It was just like how the Kunpeng race had used the ghost fox, evil dragon, to cause trouble for the dragon race. When Long Chen thought of that, he laughed. Without any further misgivings, his spiritual strength entered the runes of the wings. Kunpeng Heaven Splitting Slash Kunpeng Void Breaker Kunpeng Feathered Shield 
Ahaha, Long Chen, your luck's not bad. These wings still have three core runes in them. To awaken three kinds of divine abilities in the immortal king realm, that Kun Tu can count as a genius. The dragon expert laughed, pleasantly surprised. There were countless runes on these wings. However, the majority were not innate runes. They were cultivated later to increase the speed and strength of the wings. The most precious things on the wings were the natural innate runes. Those were the foundation upon which the Kunpeng race's strongest divine abilities were born. They were so precious that only extremely talented Kunpengs would produce them. After all, Kun Tu was a pure Kunpeng. His runes were not passed down through bloodline, but generated through the laws of the heavenly Daos. Even if he only awakened them through cultivation, they were still natural innate runes. For Kun Tu to awaken three such runes in the immortal king realm, that was something very rarely seen even in the immemorial era. Hearing this news, Long Chan was excited. His spiritual strength then entered the runes, and the dragon expert taught him what to do. He saw just how terrifying these three divine abilities were. The first one was Kunpeng Heaven Splitting Slash, a terrifying attack that tore apart the dome of the heavens. Kun Tu had used this move before. The second was Kunpeng Void Breaker. Kun Tu had not displayed this one because it was a movement art that pushed one's speed to the limit. Also, Kun Tu had awoken it inside the three thousand worlds, and before he even had a chance to use it, he was already drawn over by the disturbance that Long Chen caused. Later on, due to running out of energy, he didn't even have a chance to use it in combat. Thus, no one had seen the effect of this technique. As for the third move, Kunpeng Feathered Shield, it was a technique for absolute defense. Kun Tu had also awakened it in the Three Thousand Worlds, and had tried to use it. However, he had only been capable of summoning an embryonic form of it. Unable to draw out its full power, he was beaten so miserably by Long Chen. He he, I've struck gold. Long Chen laughed excitedly. The three moves from the Ancestral Dragon Reverse scale were all offensive, without a single movement art or defensive technique. But now, Kun Tu's wings had made up for it. After all, Long Chen had many offensive techniques, but only very few defensive techniques. Most of the time, he wouldn't use defensive techniques himself. But if there were ever allies beside him in combat, he would be at a loss without any powerful defensive techniques, especially a defensive technique that could cover a wide area. Now, that gap was filled, causing Long Chen to feel even greater confidence. He could attack, defend, and now even flee. He had no further misgivings. Seven days later, Long Chen had mastered the runes on the wings and left his spiritual seal imprinted within each one. There were Huo Linger and Lei Linger's spiritual seals in them as well. That way, he could allow Lei Linger and Huo Linger to control them. Long Chen stood in the air with the Kunpeng wings behind him. As they fused into his body, a wild hurricane erupted. The wings gleamed with resplendent divine light, radiating a brilliance akin to a blazing sun. Long Chen, enveloped by the sacred aura, now looked just like a heavenly god. Ha ha ha, I'm ready. King Shuan, I'm coming. In Ri, Kan Long Chen raised his head and laughed. With a quiver from the Kunpeng wings, he instantly vanished. Chapter 3939 Prince Pulling Chariot The Vermilion Bird Empire had a long and illustrious history. Although they had gone through countless periods of prosperity and decline, their inheritance had never been fully severed. They made offerings to the Vermilion Bird Totem, the Divine Flame Beast Phoenix. However, the Vermilion Bird Empire actually did not have any phoenix totems. Legend had it that the phoenix was just like the Kunpeng and the ancestral dragon, relying on its own cultivation to reach its height. It was not born as a phoenix. 
it was said that all fire attribute bird races were blessed by the phoenix even a little crow even a tiny sparrow had a chance to cultivate into the undying phoenix the vermilion bird was a flame attribute divine bird from the primal chaos era and there were thirteen historical records of the vermilion bird ascending into an undying phoenix it was the race that produced the most undying phoenixes people said that the vermilion bird race had received the greatest part of the phoenix's blessing so it was the race closest to the phoenix a flame attribute divine bird needed to pass through ninety-nine steps to cultivate into the undying phoenix but the vermilion bird was born on the sixty-sixth step and only needed to take thirty-three steps to become the undying phoenix after the battle of the primal chaos there were quite a few inheritances of the vermilion bird left within the nine heavens and ten lands however the vermilion bird never appeared again in most of the world it was said that the vermilion bird race was exterminated in the primal chaos battle it was said that this was the greatest battle in the history of the nine heavens and ten lands back then the world collapsed and the ten thousand dows were crippled as a result countless races turned into nothing more than legends never to be seen again however those that worshipped the vermilion bird firmly believed that the vermilion bird still existed somewhere this faith had never been broken the vermilion bird empire was one of the most devout believers in the vermilion bird race the majority of this empire's cultivators were flame cultivators as for the actual vermilion bird empire's imperial household they were all flame cultivators it was said that the vermilion bird empire's imperial bloodline was a branch of the primal chaos era's renowned geli race being in possession of the geli bloodline they were naturally close to the heavenly dows and could control the flames of the ten thousand dows as for yu king shuin she was the princess that the vermilion bird empire had been hiding when she appeared she shook the entire empire that was because she possessed an incredibly pure geolite bloodline far above her ancestors when she was born a rainbow protected her later on the heavenly rainbow flame called her and she became the new master of the rank nine heavenly flame known as the heavenly rainbow flame it was only after obtaining the heavenly rainbow flame that yu king shuin truly became famous when she returned to the vermilion bird empire she was praised as the pearl of the vermilion bird the light that eclipsed the stars the vermilion bird empire was an enormous existence whose lands were rich with natural resources this empire was composed of thirty-seven prefectures neighboring eight empires although the vermilion bird empire was powerful they never wantonly expanded their territory or took advantage of their position to bully others thus it could be said that their relationships with their neighbors were harmonious however in the last few years those neighboring empires grew unfriendly and began to cause trouble on the border amongst them was the heavenly ruler seal empire the heavenly ruler seal empire had once benefited greatly from depending on the vermilion bird empire they were saved from crisis several times thanks to the vermilion bird empire but now they were the ones causing the most trouble it was because the current heavenly ruler seal empire was backed by the violet thunderclap empire a nation that harbored great animosity toward the vermilion bird empire although they had not gone to war in millions of years the hatred between the two sides had not lessened after all this time currently the border of the vermilion bird empire was in a tense state there were often some small-scale conflicts occurring although they weren't large battles they were constant causing an aggravating disturbance to the vermilion bird empire a bunch of hopping clowns all they know is hopping around all day i really wish i could kill those ungrateful bastards in front of an enormous city gate an armored expert glared furiously at an enemy army in the distance that was incessantly shouting and drilling 
This was the border between the Vermilion Bird Empire and the Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire. But lately, the Heavenly Ruler Seal Empire had started to strengthen the border. They were holding training drills closer and closer to the border line, as if intentionally provoking the Vermilion Bird Empire's soldiers. Although they never crossed the border, they would run assault drills right up to the border and then make provoking gestures at them. The Heavenly Ruler's Seal Empire is a pack of dogs that don't learn. How many times did we help them out before? Now, they actually bite us just because the Violet Thunderclap Empire is instigating them. They are worse than dogs, said another soldier hatefully. There were dozens of soldiers in silver armor in the area. They were immortal kings. Although they were no longer young, their blood kai was still in top condition. They were in the prime of their life. There was also one soldier in golden armor who gave off a supreme kai. This was a supreme expert whose cultivation base was at the very peak of the immortal king realm. He had already taken half a step into the world king realm, and thus he should count as a half-step world king. This half-step world king watched the heavenly ruler seal empire's experts with disdain. The heavenly ruler seal empire is a group of idiots. Our vermilion bird empire never bullied them, so they thought that we weren't that frightening. All the violet thunderclap empire had to do was apply some pressure and give some benefits, and these bastards directly aligned themselves with them. It has been too long since our vermilion bird empire last fought the others, so many people have already forgotten our might. Perhaps it is time to show our power. Suddenly, they heard rumbling in the distance. A golden war chariot was slowly being pulled over, exuding a sacred aura that shook their souls. That's the heavenly ruler seal war chariot. Sound the alarm and prepare for battle. The half-step world king's expression changed, and he barked orders. After that, an year piercing alarm wailed through the border, causing tens of thousands of soldiers to gather, all of them taking out their weapons. At this moment, their killing intent blazed. Eh, something's wrong. Watching as the heavenly ruler seal war chariot slowly approached, they saw that, when it got to the heavenly ruler seal empire's camp, it caused chaos like boiling water. Countless experts were now attacking it. A golden wick then struck the air, turning those experts into blood foam when struck. Amongst them included a half-step world king. That person was a commander in the heavenly ruler seal empire. But the vermilion bird empire's soldiers were dumbfounded. What was going on? They were killing each other. Suddenly, three strikes of the whip could be heard. Only then did the Vermilion Bird Empire's experts notice that the heavenly ruler Seal War Chariot was being pulled by three people. The three of them screamed in pain after the whip struck them. The half-step World King then looked more closely, and his eyes almost popped out of their sockets. He recognized one of those three. Isn't that the heavenly ruler Seal Empire's seventeenth prince? Fuck, how are you so trash? Pull the chariot faster. Once we arrive, you can scram. The half-step world king now saw the man holding the whip in the chariot. He was yelling at the heavenly ruler Seal Empire's seventeenth prince like the latter was a horse or a mule. He has the prince pulling the chariot. The Vermilion Bird Empire's soldiers were all dumbfounded by this spectacle. Chapter 3000 940 as many experts as clouds in the sky the soldiers drilling on the side of the heavenly ruler seal empire were enraged upon seeing their prince being used to pull someone's chariot filled with righteous indignation they collapsed upon this man however that black-robed man's whip directly blasted through them like they were just rotting wood causing the others to be too terrified to move the ones to have reached him first were their strongest experts, and amongst them was a supreme half-step world king, the highest rank commander in the area. However, even this commander was directly slain. How could the normal experts dare to make a move then? 
once the chariot was closer they saw that other than the seventeenth prince the other two were actually divine venerates with supreme kai around them all three were bound by chains and pulling the chariot forward according to reason three experts on this level would have no trouble pulling a chariot but their auras were in chaos and they were covered in blood clearly heavily injured then adding on the constant whipping from the black-robed man they were in a miserable plight however surprisingly the three of them didn't look enraged at all instead there was fear in their eyes as well as a begging expression they didn't dare to make any complaints and just pulled the chariot as hard as they could friend please stop here this is the vermilion bird empire's territory what is your reason for coming here asked the commander on this side with a friendly tone of course he was friendly the enemy of my enemy was my friend seeing this black-robed man treat the heavenly ruler seal empire's seventeenth prince like this they all had a good feeling about him i finally arrived at the vermilion bird empire tch i got lost and ended up in the heavenly ruler seal empire first ha 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 but i'm glad to have arrived the black-robed man pulled back his hood revealing the young and handsome face he was long chen long chen looked at the three people pulling his chariot and they immediately started quivering in terror they directly knelt on the ground prostrating toward him the seventeenth prince spoke in a shuddering voice you promised that as long as we properly pulled the chariot you would forgive us for our offence toward princess kingshuan please respect your promise long chen had been following the map but he ended up misreading the marks on it furthermore due to using the kunpeng wings his speed was so fast that he ended up far off the target in just a moment it just so happened that long chen arrived at a city inside the heavenly ruler seal empire and was preparing to ask for directions in a somewhat bustling place he didn't want to just barge into the vermilion bird empire to avoid facing unnecessary trouble thus he hadn't expected to run into these three they were in the midst of talking about the vermilion bird empire the seventeenth prince was even talking about yu kingshuan's body with a drooling tone immediately enraging long chen without a word long chen beat up the three of them resulting in the entire city's experts trying to save them only then did long chen learn that he had truly found the right people to beat they were from the heavenly ruler seal empire in reed com this seventeenth prince was not particularly beloved by the people which was why he was sent to such a remote place near the border of the empire however the seventeenth prince did have quite a few guards beside him including two supreme divine venerates after beating them up long chen essentially challenged an entire city on his own anyone in the city who could be called an expert was subdued by him and none of them could receive a single blow from him when long chen started fighting the seventeenth prince's mouth remained dirty so long chen furiously demanded the three of them pull the chariot for him or he would kill them when they saw how terrifying long chen was they realized that they had provoked a vicious character in order to live they directly agreed and started pulling the chariot for him tch when have i boss long san ever eaten my words scram and remember that disaster comes from the mouth keep your mouth clean in the future said long chen coldly although the heavenly ruler seal empire had enmity with the vermilion bird empire it had nothing to do with long chen the heavenly ruler seal empire's experts also had not especially targeted him in the three thousand worlds but then long chen didn't know how many of them were killed by his dragon roars at the nine heavens long chen was very direct with his grudges and enmities he didn't wish to get drawn into the fighting between two empires not because he was afraid but because he didn't know the truth about everything he couldn't label someone as good or evil just because of his fondness for one person 
nor would he directly take someone's life just because of one disrespectful word. Many thanks, many thanks. I will definitely repent for my past mistakes and turn over a new leaf. The seventeenth prince repeatedly kowtowed, weeping in gratitude. It was his first time being so close to death, and only now did he realize just how precious life was. That is your own matter. If you don't reform, next time you might not get another chance to. You'd have to reincarnate as a new person. Long Chen waved his hand dismissively. The three of them delightedly threw down the chains on them and fled, not even thinking about taking back the heavenly ruler seal war chariot, a symbol of their heavenly ruler seal empire. They simply left as fast as they could, never wanting to see this black-robed devil ever again. At this time, the Vermilion Bird Empire's soldiers opened the gates. They had all heard Long Chen's conversation with the 17th prince and had seen Long Chen's shocking methods. From that, they knew that he was a terrifying expert and that they couldn't afford to offend him. Furthermore, he was so protective over the Vermilion Bird Empire. I am the Vermilion Bird Empire's heaven border defense chief, Zio Yang. Greetings, young friend. A half-step world king from the Vermilion Bird Empire cupped his fists to Long Chen. You can call me Long San. I am a friend of your noble princess, King Shuin. I wasn't familiar with the path, so I ended up in the heavenly ruler seal empire's territory. I heard someone blaspheming Princess King Shuin, so I conveniently corrected them. I've made you all laugh at me. Long Chen also cupped his fists back. That refreshing character, that wasn't restrained by complicated etiquette, was very refreshing to these soldiers. He even called them brothers, instantly pulling in the distance between them. So it's Brother Long. Welcome to the Vermilion Bird Empire. Come inside the city. Zio Yang courteously invited Long Chen in. The soldiers behind him hesitated, but then they also pulled in the heavenly ruler seal war chariot. Zio Yang received Long Chen very courteously. However, as the defense chief, he was also very shrewd. During the welcoming feast, he subtly asked about Long Chen's background. This avoided the awkwardness of an interrogation, while also letting him do what he had to do. Long Chen didn't report his true status. He only said that he was a sect's disciple and had a close relationship with Yu Qingxuan's sect, the Blazing Heaven Divine Sect. They had met multiple times and were good friends. In order to gain Zio Yang's trust, Long Chen said several names. Those were the Vermilion Bird Empire's disciples that he had encountered before entering the Three Thousand Worlds. When Long Chen said those names, Zio Yang's cautiousness toward Long Chen diminished a great deal. That's right, Brother Zio, Princess Qingxuan said that our Vermilion Bird Imperial household has countless geniuses. Here, there are as many experts as there are clouds in the sky. Thus, Princess Kingshuin invited me to come sincerely to witness the royal family's mighty heroes and geniuses. Once Zio Yang had drunk about enough and was no longer so on guard, Long Chen probed him back a bit. Ha ha ha, brother Long, it's not that I'm bragging, but the Vermilion Bird royal bloodline is blessed with countless geniuses. You are Princess Kingshuin's friend, so you know how powerful she is. But do you know what rank that power of hers ranks her amongst the princes and princesses? Zio Yang instantly grew excited hearing Long Chen's question, feeling full of pride. Long Chen paused. He hadn't expected this random question to seemingly touch upon some secret. No, what rank? Zio Yang looked at Long Chen and spat out two words, rank nine. 